go crazy hot. I'm so hot right doing now. Doing dumb shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so far in the past fucking hour and a half of a Monday, <laughs> you've told me you spent well over $5,000. <laughs> on 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 good shit, <laughs> but you're like <laughs> it's more like four. More like four, okay. <laughs> Buying fucking every movie on iTunes, spending three hundred dollars on iTunes. <laughs> Got to complete the sets, right? If I want every Marvel movie in my catalog <laughs> on iTunes, <laughs> think about like someone comes over and they see that. Ah. Uh-uh. Holy Look fuck, you have bo- 30 digital movies. Boss ass fucking move. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you go or what it is. At some point, you're like, yep, got to do it. I can't, I, can't, I can't say that. I took like a week off. You did. So I had to make up for it. No, I just think it's funny how like. Like this morning, we were talking about that guy's whiskey collection we saw online, mm-hmm. and then you're like, "Well, I bought, my, I got inspired to buy some of my own." <laughs> and then you bought the big bottles we've been talking about. Just thought it was only right. You're, you're not wrong. It's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for Shane. It's good for everyone. It's good for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! I start. I started using that at home. Oh, Kim's Jesus. Kim's like, okay, you can shut the fuck up. You can stop that dumb shit now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we, we were talking about gaming again, and she's like, I was like, this is good for everyone, babe. She's like, fuck off. She's like, this is not good for us. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, fuck you, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Kenny's feeding my fire, dude. He really he is. is. He added a couple new hashtags. Did he? Yeah, I might as well throw them out there. And everyone like hates being left behind. Hey, let's answer this and see who it is. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, the gravel driveway. Yep, just come on down the driveway, and uh, you'll see a black Jeep there, and you can just leave the uh, package on the front porch. Awesome, thank you. Bye-bye. Amazon. It was great. We were, I, 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 what am I doing? I'm accusing you of spending a bunch of money, and I fucking yeah, what'd you get? on no, He's we, like, I got white socks. I got no, no, no. It was all baby stuff. Everything we got was baby stuff. Bro dropped a ton of money on baby stuff. We needed a, uh, we needed to get the car seat, the stroller, yep. and then the extra bases for the car seats. Yes. So we got one car seat, three bases. Mm-hmm. Got the stroller, which is all that Chico shit. Yeah fucking all interchangeable all, right yeah and you're all it, it's all there but it's uh it ain't cheap a fucking mm-hmm. base is like a hundred bucks like base, just for the piece that the seat goes in clicks in yeah it's a hundred bucks so we, i bought two extra two extra of those just in just to have one keep one in a car in my truck in her vehicle and then an extra just to have yeah because whenever you're toting around a kid whenever daycare and all this i remember how many times i fucked up and it's like then you gotta strap your kid in and like you know. grandparents yeah. have one. Yes. And yeah. yeah, yeah. Always have an extra. Um, and then um, uh, what else did I we'd buy? Bought all the stroller. That We got uh, her a diaper bag, the diaper bag she's, she wanted. And then I bought the diaper bag from Tactical Baby Gear. Did you see it? I posted about it. Yeah, it's pretty you sweet. Click on it and look through it all. Yep. Pretty cool shit. Yes. They seem like they don't, they don't fuck around. They mm-hmm. seem to have high quality bags. They seem to do a really good job with everything. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, we got uh, one in for my brother-in-law. It oh, is yeah. you, fire quality. Oh, did you get one in too for him? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. they're really cool. I uh, I got the uh, I got the green. Yeah. I wanted the green. So did we. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. It was sick. Excited. Everybody said- Patches are really cool too. Got a bunch of patches. Mm-hmm. Dad life. Yep. Dad. I'll get a patch that says, fuck you on it. Just <laughs> piss people off. Maybe get under skin a little bit. Yeah. Just talk with them. Uh-huh. I've seen, I've seemed to enjoy that a little too much lately. Just yeah. to see reactions from people. It's all in good fun, it, I think. It, it, the thing is, I, I I just, me personally, like, I just want good shit to occur. Like, you got to have an edge about yourself. You know what I mean? you got to have an edge. 
But like, I know who I am. I know what I want, and I know I'm a good person. Yeah. Do I have my flaws? Fuck yeah. I'm a little bit of a dick. I get a little too excited sometimes. I wear my emotions on my sleeve, so every now and then I say something pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. But um, I seem to. I just want to see the reaction from people whenever I do assert whenever something happens. Like I made that post this weekend about the masks. Yeah. Because here in PA, Governor uh, Governor Wolf. I want to say governor dickhead <laughs> <laughs> see just can't help myself it's okay <laughs> put my foot right in my mouth <laughs> whenever we do this though i'm not i am i i'm unfiltering myself as much as possible for the podcast yeah so you're bound to say something fucked up mm-hmm. wait till we get a little stoned on here i don't say something really dumb it will be like seth believes that ants are going to take over the world <laughs> he's too high <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I made that post on there to see to to see what ha- with the reaction of people because this is a touchy subject with everything going on, but with the mask, it's like here in PA, the governor quote unquote mandated that you're supposed to wear a mask. Well, he can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. He can't make you do it. Right. He didn't make it a law. Mm-hmm. But what happened is is the stores and all these businesses do have the right to turn away people if they don't wear a mask, no mask, no service. So he frightened in the businesses enough to make them say, hey, if you come in here with no masks, it puts us at risk to be fined, to be shut down, to be, uh, to receive a citation, anything. So like, fuck you. In order to buy things, you have to wear a mask. That's every single grocery store. Yeah. Everywhere you go. They're all. Every gas station, Mm -hmm. everywhere. So you have to have a mask. Yep. Does the mask do anything? Not really. It's a cloth mask. I can put a T-shirt over my face. A virus is getting through that. Like as a safety professional, like I had to deal with, I had to take a ton of different courses on respirators. Not all respirators are the same. No. Not all chemicals are the same. Not all anything is the same. So in order to protect yourself against certain different substances, you have to wear different filters and different masks. And what are you doing with this said mask when you're not wearing it? Where's it going? Putting it in your pocket, touching that with your hands. Yeah. Just where where is that? Your kid playing with it in the back before you put it on to go in the store? Yeah. Fuck, dude. I know. No, I understand. I get it because you have to, both sides of everything you got to look at. Just because you don't agree with something doesn't mean that I don't like you. Just because we disagree doesn't mean that I don't like you or think you're stupid or anything like that. Yeah. It's just the tensions rise to the top and then all of a sudden, like, if you say something I disagree with, I'm like, you're a fucking piece of shit. I hate your guts. Go fuck yourself. It's not how it's supposed to be. No. Just because you have you disagree about something says, okay, wow. Then you have a conversation about it. But that doesn't mean that, like, I want your house to burn down and, like, <laughs> anything like that. Yeah. But that's kind of what people interpret, and they go right at each other's throats. Mm-hmm. It's just very touchy. And I believe that, you know, whenever, whenever a, a community... A relation, a re, let's start with a relationship, a family, neighborhood, community, state, country, world is divided. Somebody's benefiting from the division. And, and that's the scary part with all these conspiracy theories behind it that, I mean, as a country, as a country, if we're divided, it's, it's, it's not good. It's very easy to manipulate people out of fear and yeah. division. Whenever people are unified and whenever you have a strong business or a strong family or a strong neighborhood or a strong community, you ain't fucking with it. No. When you run into a family that is a tight-knit family, you're like, you motherfuckers stick together. Thick and thin with you bastards. They don't take no shit. Mm -hmm. And and, and everybody knows a family, whether it be Italian or some type of, uh, uh, like, Puerto Ricans. I remember there was a Puerto Rican family. I was like, these motherfuckers are thick as thieves. Yep. Similar to Italians. Yep. Bicker and yell at each other, but it's not like they're yelling. It's actually they're talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not welcome into the yelling or the talking. Fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, so I think everybody knows that. Whenever you see that, you're like, man, what a great, like, what a great uh, community. Mm-hmm. And it's a family. And the same thing goes with us. Yep. And here it's, you know, so gets touchy and I wanted to stir the pot a little bit and post that and see what the fuck would happen. See what it would go on. Because me personally, like, uh, I don't agree with it. I don't really like it. I kind of think it's stupid. However, uh, it's the situation we're in. 
it starts keep, keeps going on. May eighth, it's supposed to be lifted. So mm-hmm. we'll see, we'll see what happens. See how far everything goes. That's all we can really do. Yeah. Yep. I think things will be lifted for sure in certain parts of Pennsylvania. Yeah. I mean, it has to like based on the on the numbers on the numbers to get into each phase and all that shit. I mean, we're in good standing out here to. Oh, yeah. To hit that out of the gate. And this isn't this is only happening in PA. It's in certain states. Yeah. Most of the states it's a democratic state that this is going on in. So I mean all we can do is just wait and see. I think it's the craziest thing to me is I'm like how mother how many motherfuckers out there weren't washing their hands? Yeah. Bro, I we've been how many times did we go to the Arnold? A bunch of times. Yeah. We've been to the Arnold many times. Yeah. Every time we go to the Arnold, on you is hand sanitizer mm-hmm. at all times. Yep. I shake, hug Fuck, they spit on me, I spit on them, like the, the mouth shit flying out of our mouths at each other, all excited and fucking jovial and wiping my beard and taking pictures and hugging and grabbing and sweating mm-hmm. with thousands of people. Yeah. Hand sanitizer. Keep on staying clean. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's simple, simple stuff. And then who, who goes to the grocery store without wiping down the cart? Who ever did that? Like you mean to tell me, like you went to the grocery store and didn't get the wipe and wipe off where the hand, where people's hands are? I wasn't allowed to touch the cart, bro. Like we, my mom would wipe it down and then don't touch the cart. That's what I tell my kids. I've been doing that for get years. Get off the cart. Because from ever since microbiology class in like two thousand four, whenever I took that class, like how bad uh, water fountains, mm-hmm. ele- uh, escalator handles. And aren't, then, aren't refrigerator doors bad? Oh, like fuck handles yeah. and menus. Menus. Menus are horrible. Oh. Menus never get wiped. Yeah. Go to a bar, look at the menu, and you're like, "Oh fuck, this thing has never been wiped." I care. I mean, bro, in my truck, people were busting my balls about that post I made because I had the the gun, the lighter, the uh, the knife, and all my shit. Yeah. And they're like, "Why the lighter?" And I'm like, "Because I always have a lighter on me." Yeah. I remember when I was like 13 years old, my uncle or my cousin, he's like. I don't know, you know, cousin, uncle, not West Virginia stuff, but like, oh, it's my second cousin or my yeah. uncle. Anyway, he's you just don't know cousin. how to. I don't know. He's he's older than me, and they say he's my cousin, but he's not. <laughs> he's my uncle. <laughs> when, you fucking. His you, dad would probably be your uncle. Yeah, some shit like that. Either he's way, my dad's cousin. I oh, say that. Okay, so he's not your cousin. But or, I don't or know your how uncle. the fuck that works. They say that's still a cousin somehow. There's yeah, that's shit. definitely your cousin. There's some kind of blood relation there. There is a blood relation because we're all dumb as fuck. <laughs> dumb hicks. <laughs> cabinet makers. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're all built like cabinets, too. Yeah, all square. He's not, though. No? He's way taller. <laughs> He's more of a, a tall cabinet. He's more of a tall cabinet, like a wall cabinet. He's like a grandfather clock. <laughs> there you go. No, I was... Uh, I'm, <laughs> We're not dumb. We're just stupid hex. <laughs> no, uh, but oh fuck, where was I going with that? I got know. away off. I'm topic. sorry. <laughs> got off topic. Thinking he's a tall cabinet now, wall cabinet. Uh, lighter and lighter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, he is he is the fucking bro. He is straight Western PA, hunting, trapping, fishing. Owns over a hundred acre farm. Like bro, this dude could hunt down track anything including humans probably yeah <laughs> anyway whenever i was like 13 years old we were out we were out raccoon hunting and uh he was like hey can i have your knife i was like yeah i got my knife with me handed it to him he's like where's your light you got a lighter and i'm like no i don't smoke and he's like i don't give a shit if you smoke or not you should always have a lighter on you i'm like why and he's like in case you get stuck out in the wilderness and you need to make a fire he's like Always have matches or a lighter. And he's like, and if you have matches, they're kind of worthless if they get wet. So you should probably have stormproof matches. I'm like, man, this guy's, this guy's so cool. <laughs> this guy's awesome. So ever since then, the dad in me has kicked in. I always have a, a, a fucking uh, uh, a knife and a lighter. Mm-hmm. And then people are saying, oh, this and that. You lighten that cigar. No, I have matches for my cigars. But in my truck and always around me, survival shit. Always in my truck, you'll find water, flares, waterproof matches, um, uh, reflective gear, Mm -hmm. extra socks in case my feet get wet. Yep. Because if you ever, like whenever I was working oil and gas, bro, if you have wet socks, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. Um, Towels. Some ratchet straps in there. Oh, yeah. Straps. Yep. Flashlight. Extra lighters. 
cigar, snacks. Yeah. Um, first aid kit, tourniquet. Um, you name it, it's in my fucking truck. Yep. Prepared. Machete. Mach- I got two in there, actually. A gun. You name it, I got it. Hmm. So, I don't know, maybe I've escalated the situation of him telling me just to have a knife and a lighter on me, but I thought it was important. If you have a truck, you just got to have all the things in there. Just part of outfitting it. Yeah, just have stuff. Yeah. I always have extra t-shirt. Yeah. Always have t-shirt, underwear, socks. For yeah. sure. Extra pair of all. In case I shit my pants. You never know. I got like, I got a bunch Bob's of water. Like, yeah, that's. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, makes Absolutely. sense. That's where I'm at. Oh, look at this. Another phone call. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you think he knows he has no headphones on? Mm, yeah. Okay. Man, that's. I mean, I'm getting all kind of phone calls this morning, making me feel important. Yet they're just telemarketer bullshit. You go on headphoneless this podcast. I don't know. I was all excited, busting Bob's balls about spending money, and then I realized I spent a shit ton of money this weekend. <laughs> but it was I needed it. Yeah. All baby stuff. Yeah. I Bob need- buys things that are necessary, kind for, of for Bob. I mean, they're essentials. <laughs> I think Pappy is essential. Pappies. Two Pappies essential. A <laughs> fucking guy. Well, I can't have a bottle here. Not a bottle at, at home. Not a bottle at home. What if you guys come over? Can't have just nothing sitting I, I'm, around. I'm I'm ready for. I'm ready to. I'm I'm so ready for all the good shit of the summertime. Me too. I, I will say that, like, with all this ab- absolute horseshit going on. Of um, of over the top. I mean, it's. I understand like we everybody can do a better job of being sanitary, mm-hmm. so to say. You know what I mean? I I I can respect that, but this is a little overboard. Just a little far, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I can't wait. The good that I do find that comes out of this is I hope that nobody takes for granted all the things that we did before. Mm-hmm. Like there was always this that division that we talk about. Like I, I don't I hate I hate whenever people are, are divided and, and and I hate the the negativity or people how they thrive on negativity. I can't stand it. It doesn't do good for anybody. Mm-hmm. Like what good comes from negativity? It's good to have conversation. It's good to question. It's good to critically think. But nothing you don't get anywhere negative. So with this, I hope that people come out and they just everybody has like a, a, a feeling of wanting to be together like of unity you still respect people's respect people's space their personal space six feet's a good bit (laughs) i can't stand next to somebody just don't fucking breathe on my breathe on my shoulders yeah but uh just the excitement of getting back to to life the excitement of being able to go into a restaurant and sit down and see a bunch of people and just and i don't know i need that bro just being able to shake someone's hand and not feel like I'm out of place for putting my hand out. Bro, that's going to be a thing. People are going to be oh, real weird about it. That's going to be one of the hardest things for me because I'm not going to be the guy that doesn't come back and shake your hand. Oh, no, 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 no. So when I'm when I'm met with the one that is like, ah, I'm going to be like. Okay. I don't um, know how to take it. I don't know how to take it either. And I know everyone has their own yeah. situations going on, but fuck, dude. I like touching people. Me too. Handshakes, hugs. Yeah. I'm big on I've it. had my ass grab a couple times too, by men, not women. Hey, they were straight men too. At least I thought they were. <laughs> Shane's like, I'll take one. Jeez. No matter what, they liked what they saw. <laughs> he made must me work feel out. special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man! But fuck it, let's get the day started. It's a nice Monday morning, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that, a little overcast and. I wish it was it's supposed to clear up today. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I got fucking cooked this weekend. I, you know, I saw that. Yeah. I don't know how. I I was outside for three hours. The sun was out. Okay. And I had a t- I had a t-shirt on. My buddy stopped over, and uh, he can still see the lines. <laughs> Different shades of red. Uh huh. So I am. You see there? Yeah. I, I had a t-shirt on, and I'm like standing out there, and I'm talking to him. You're talking for like an hour. Hannah came out. She's sitting in the driveway in the in the chair. She uh, she put the shirt over her belly just to get some sun. She's just enjoying the sun there. And I'm looking, and I'm like, I'm one pale motherfucker. 
she's super pale too. I'm like, we're going to get cooked today. Yep. Sure enough, by the time I was done talking to him, I'm like, I got to fucking put a tank top on. <laughs> there was no color yet. Yeah. Okay. I was still white, but in the sun. Took my shirt off. The fucking hive thing happened. Yep. But, you know, I got all the hives and just that allergic reaction I have to the sun at first for some reason. Yeah. And uh, was weed whacking, trimming trees, cutting the grass, just living it up. Maybe three hours go by. And uh, I get into the shade and Hannah's like, hey, you're in trouble. <laughs> and I'm like, what did I do? Yeah, what now? She's like, you're red as fuck. <laughs> You're like, no. And I'm like, really? I'm like, great. And she's like, yeah, dude. She's like, probably put some sunblock on. I'm like, fuck it. I'm in. I don't care. Let's go. So meanwhile, she's been, she's laying on the trampoline, just trying to get some sun too. And, um, and in and out making kids lunch and all that shit. And just having a nice day outside. End of the day comes. And sure enough, she's like. I'm sunburned. I'm like, I fucking know you're going to sunburn. You're as, you're as pale as a white piece of paper. Yeah. Sure enough, she's got tan lines everywhere, a little red. And then she lifts up her shirt. <laughs> the baby's got a little red, too. I'm like, you had your belly up for like 30 minutes. Yeah. So it was uh, it was good. But I just got different shades of red. Yeah. Like three, four hours outside cutting grass. And I still hurt. It still hurts. I didn't do anything outside this weekend. No? Saturday was beautiful. It was. I did... Uh, it was great. I worked on the website all day Saturday. Get that all ready for the release tomorrow night. Yeah. Or tonight, or whenever you're listening to this. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday night. Yeah. April 28th. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get... Didn't really get outside. It was okay. Sunday was... Sunday was... Uh, shit. Shitty. Yeah. Fucking Sunday shit was a lot day. of rain. I did some... We did some inside stuff, getting ready for the baby. I think that baby's going to come sooner than June. Yeah. I think baby's going to come sooner than June. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But belly's dropping. He's going to come out. SJ. RPM. RPM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's uh, yeah, little Seth Jr. It's going to be a riot. Good times. <clears throat> hmm. Did you lose more weight, Bob? Um... Not yet. I will be. I will by tomorrow. I'm usually up like a day after my cheat, uh -huh. and then it just it just all works itself out. Yeah. But I did pig out this weekend. I saw you did. A bit out of control, and then I ate clean all day yesterday, and last night I fucked up. Like I usually just cheat Saturday night, and I fucked up. I ate good all day yesterday, and then I fucked up last night. Would you? You? Oh man. Well, there was a bunch of cookies still left, and I'm like, fuck it, like. I'll just work it off. Like, I'm not going to get fat from one one day. No. I'll just work it off. So I ate like, <laughs> dude, it's so bad. <laughs> I sat and ate like 10 cookies last night, like this big. They were this big. Ate 10 oh, of them. Oh, bitch. I think it's why I'm sweating so bad this morning. Fucking for sure. Yeah. How'd you eat 10? Uh, you know what, though? I ate two pizzas Saturday night and like 10 cookies. Eat clean all day yesterday and then eat like another 10 cookies. 10 cookies is a lot of cookies. With like a big thing of like coconut milk and like filled with fat and all. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, but you're like. Uh, I was 216 this morning. So well, up like two pounds. From Friday? Hold, yeah, from holding water and yeah, you're, but eating the shit. Did you do cardio this morning? Yeah, I did an hour cardio this morning. Did yeah. an hour yesterday morning. Yeah, it's gone. Yep. You're like in a contest prep type of deal because mm -hmm. you, you, you are on a strict diet all week long. Yep. All week. Very, very strict mm -hmm. diet. Yep. Not like kind of strict. No. Very strict. To a T. To a T all week long. And then come your cheat meal, mm -hmm. you just have your cheat meal and then get back on your shit. Yeah. Well, this the is the first time in what, like 45 days that you've done an another cheat Mm -hmm. meal in the same weekend yeah mm -hmm. yeah the only other time we did that was easter weekend when we did eddie v's the one night and then i cheated again the second day yeah but, other than that it's been one meal one bad meal in that in that process your body turns into that fire yeah yeah you know i mean that's that fucking furnace uh <laughs> that what, what, what am i that furnace analogy yeah i couldn't know what the analogy of how your body turns into a furnace and once it is once it is 
burning. You can put anything in that motherfucker. Yeah. And it's going to get cooked up as long as you go back on your routine. Well, the the running, too, I think, has just uh, it's turned it on even more. Not only that, Monday through Friday, I'm, I am in a deficit every single day because of the running. Because I'm still, I, I just do my stepper in the morning no matter what. And then I also run, and then I may get, I may lift weights in there too. So I think, I think the running just has my metabolism at a different level. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. I think that the, whenever I do, whenever I, whenever I run, like, even though it says I burn more calories whenever I do cart, whenever I do my stepper, mm-hmm. but whenever I run, I look way different whenever I run compared to when I do the stepper. Same here. Look way different, even mm-hmm. though the calories of me burning don't match up. Right. That's probably why I should probably wear the, that, the watch that tells you. Yeah how much you burn, all that shit. I've never got into that. I've just, I've always been someone that legitimately goes by how I look in the mirror. I go by what I eat, what I look like, and what it says on the scale. Mm-hmm. Like, because sometimes you get that, oh, if, I, if you weigh yourself every single day, you get into that habit of, oh my God, if my weight goes up, I fucked up. Yeah. But it's okay sometimes, depending on what you eat, what you were training, and how it goes, and the type of exercise you're doing. Like, what are your goals? Hell, even if I'm extremely hydrated for two days my weight's up yes you know it, it's, it's the little factors it, everything comes into play the amount of sodium you ate when and if you are on gear if you're not on gear if you're on gear when when did you take your injections and how did that affect your weight going up or down mm-hmm. you know, there's so many different things that come into play and um i've always been someone that just goes by how i look i weigh my i, I usually weighed myself on certain days mm-hmm. tuesdays and fridays yeah Tuesdays usually were my day, mm-hmm. and I just just that's that's how I weighed myself, and then I never got into really checking the amount of calories I burned, just because like no matter what it was that I was doing, I was giving it my all. Yeah. Forty five minutes of cardio. I'm not dogging the forty five minutes. I'm going fucking balls deep. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going in the train. I'm not lollygagging. I'm fucking going all in. Yeah. Pushing myself. Therefore, whenever I would do a shoulder day in comparison to a leg day, leg day, I'm burning way more fucking calories. Mm -hmm. I'm soaked head to toe. So, like, whenever I was training hard and training for competitions, I never did, like, the, how many calories are you burning? How many calories are you eating? Obviously, like, I never counted the calories. I always did macro counting. Mm -hmm. And then based on, like, what I'm, like, the types of foods. Yeah. Like, if I eat 10 ounces of fish, it's going to be different than 10 ounces of beef. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. You just have to pay attention. Now, and that's that thing where the bro science compared to real science all comes into play, and fuck. That's why I started recording a lot more of my shit. And I started wearing my Apple Watch again, like, when I'm training. But, bro, that, it's, it's shit, dude. It fucking stops like halfway through my workout. Like if you hit it the wrong way, yes, you can lock the screen. It fucking unlocks itself and pauses my workout, pisses me off. Mm. Like I did 45 minutes yesterday morning. It tracked 22 minutes of it, pissed me off. So I did another 20 to like. To tell the watch, go fuck yourself. Yeah, right. Even though I burned more, way more than the watch. Yeah, right. I was so mad. She's like, why are you getting so mad at that? I'm like, because I'm legit trying to track my shit. It doesn't fucking work on the watch. Because I, I want to, people have so many questions for me right now about like how I've been making the progress because they're not seeing the progress or I need to try to figure out and pinpoint why I have success some days. Like, like some days, dude, I'll lose a pound of fucking day. You want to know why? It's very fucking simple, Bob. You're doing the work. Yeah. Listen, I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but I'm going to right now. The reason you look like you do and you have the success you have is because you're doing the work. Bro, you walk into that gym and go all out yep you walk out of that gym drenched in sweat Mm -hmm. you're not half-assing it Mm -hmm. you're not taking fucking you're not sitting there on your phone doing a workout no dude you are fucking all in Mm -hmm. running working out lifting weights non-stop and your diet is super duper strict yeah 
super strict, like you're on a strict keto diet. You don't have any snacks. No. Like we make fun of you because you're fat and you like cookies. Mm -hmm. But like on tonight, on Monday night, whenever I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly rice cake, you're not eating it. No. That's why I look like I do, that a little fuller, a little thickness there. And you are just dropping pounds and feeling great. Yeah. The success that I had wasn't because I was the most scientific person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, if you bring a scientist in here or somebody that went to school for this, bro, they can school me from a fucking book standpoint. Mm -hmm. School me. But if you want to talk about winning shows or looking a certain way, that's you have to do certain things and it might go against what you believe from a scientific standpoint. Yeah. Like that's great. You're right. From a scientific standpoint, this is what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. But in reality, that might not work as well as you, as well as yeah. it's supposed to. Yeah. And I, I guess like I, I didn't phrase it right. Like I'm not looking for the scientific backing as to why I'm having success. I think I'm just, I want to show people cause I, I don't, I don't talk about, I don't talk about how intense my workout was. I just kind of say what I did. Yeah. I guess I just want people to know what type of work had to be put in to see X or, or Y, you know? All of it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not It's not a few day a week type deal or when you feel like eating that way. No. No. Well, and, and, and that's the thing, like I was saying with me, like, I all I did was pay attention. Hey, if I'm supposed to do cardio on the stepper... If I do it like just at a pace where I feel uh, okay, I feel good, oh, this is good, what am I really accomplishing? Am I accomplishing anything? No, you're completing a task. Mm -hmm. Do I want to complete the task or do I want to fuck it up? In my head, I'm going to fuck it up. Yeah, I'm going to go all in. Mm -hmm. My 30 minutes, I'm going to go balls deep. Yep. My 45 minutes, all out. One hour, all out. Don't give a fuck. Yep. I, and that and that is where I say, I don't know what science says I'm supposed to do, but I know what I want to do, mm -hmm. and I want to push myself. Whenever I go into the gym, yes, there's a sp certain specific set of, of of exercises that you're supposed to do, and sure, there's some there's a lot of science based stuff out out there, but what happens if you take some of the science or as <laughs> fucking disregard it, put it that way. Seth, go all in there. I want you to go pick up the 60 pound dumbbells and curl them as many times as you can until you can't curl no more. <gasps> okay. <laughs> science says you should do eight and you'll see muscle growth. Well, science can go fuck itself because right now I'm going balls deep. I'm going all the fuck in. Mm -hmm. And then after I can't do any more with the sixties, I'm going to pick up the thirties. I'm going to do double the reps. Why? Because it sounds like a good idea. Sounds like it's going to be really hard and I might want to quit. Yeah. You're going to quit. Good. I want to do things that will push me so far, so far, that people question why you do it. Yeah. I don't care what a book says. What does life say? I don't care what science says <laughs> to a certain point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What are you capable of? Yeah. So that's how I've that's how I've thought about all this this whole time, and that's how you attack that. Yeah. Bro, it what happens if somebody said, Bob, you don't have to do all that work. All you have to do is this. This is what I read in this book, and this is what you have to do. You'd completely disregard it. There's no way. You'd be like, No, no I'm way. having success doing it my way. Mm -hmm. Are you following a, 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 a diet? Absolutely. There is science behind it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to certain things, you're like, Nah, fuck it. I'm going to do it my way. So you have to have that balance and understanding that there is a science to life and the body and everything, and absolutely. But at some point, you have to kind of disregard it and, and go do your own thing and go all fucking out. Yeah. Same thing with being on a strict diet. Same thing with exercising. Same thing with running a fucking marathon or an Ironman or biking or fucking business. Anything in life, there is a certain fucking path, but then at some point, you have to say, fuck it. Yeah. And do shit that is really hard, really ugly, really difficult, that only select few people do. Because I don't care what anybody says. You say, yeah, I'm out there working out. Fuck you, Bob. You're in there killing it. 
<laughs> Kenny in here saying, I just thought of doing a marathon one day. Yeah. Yeah, that dude's head changed. Yeah. You're you're not just doing these things. You're doing these you're doing very extreme things and just playing it down. And 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 I I, I, I I definitely am. I don't even mean to though. But but no, it's just you. You're just like, yeah. Hey, it's just like anything that we do when certain type of people do. That's part of being a hardworking motherfucker. What we're talking about is what we built this business upon. Mm-hmm. It's about being the best motherfucker you can be. There ain't no fucking book on it. There's no book because everyone's book is different. It's their life. Go all in. Go, motherfucker. Yep. Why do you have so much success, Bob? I don't know. Oh, no. There is a very, there is one, one very, very strong characteristic. You give it all you got. You do that, crazy things happen. Yep. And I don't mean just in one aspect of life. You don't have problems, just more work to do. How much work? All the fucking work. Yep. I don't care how dumb or cliche certain sayings are, they're all very real. That's it's 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 crazy because some people don't see things this way. Mm-hmm. Bro, I want to see more people have more success. I want to see people so excited about waking up in the morning. It's unreal. I want to see people that are just excited about being this magnet of intensity and positivity. Mm -hmm. You don't get there by saying, well, I did exactly what that book told me to do. No, I told that book to go fuck itself. I I rested on Saturday. (laughs) Fuck you. Bro, no. I'm putting my foot on the pedal, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go as fast as I can. And even if I beat the shit out of the sides of the vehicle, I don't give a fuck. I'm going. Because that's how I live my life. Is that the way for everybody? No. But I, uh, same thing, it just continues to go on with what we preach, not judging people for what they want to do in their life. Yeah. But if you want to know what it takes for success, if you want to know what it takes to have a certain look or a certain feeling in your body, bro, you got to be all in. All of it, dude. Yep. Every fucking ounce of you. If it's not, it won't be what you dreamt in your head. Yep. Pick your 16, motherfucker. Yeah, and you, and you can't be mad at those that are achieving those things and putting the work in just because you don't feel like putting the work in. Yes. You, you, can't, you can't go there. No. You have no room to talk shit if you're not working harder than they are. You're not. Nope. And I will never fault someone for working hard no never nope you can't Mm -mm. that's why that's this thing like i can be this um i get a lot of messages there are people that are feeling this there's this one dude that was amazed he sent me a message and he's like hey dude i finally got it and he sent me a bunch of messages like from that he screenshots from people and he's like i just started doing as much as i could for everybody including myself bought himself a new vehicle but then he went and <clears throat> he was he was talking to his mom, talking to his dad, his brother, his friends, building them up, checking in on them. And he's like, I get what you're talking about, about being a good motherfucker. He's like, I don't stand still anymore. He's like, I don't sit down anymore. He's like, I go check on people. I work as hard as I can at my job. The second I come home, I start thinking of other people and I start doing things around my house. I go to my parents' house, help them with this. And he's like... Bro, he's like, this is the greatest feeling I've ever had. I'm like, oh, you got it, dude. You felt it. Be a hard-working motherfucker. You can be a super guy. You can be nice. You can be gentle. You can be kind. You can be courteous. But you can be a motherfucker, too. That's part of it. You're supposed to. You're supposed to be this good-hearted, hard-working motherfucker. That's this part. That's that's who I am. Just because I, I have a foul mouth or, or anything like that doesn't mean that you're not a good person. Doesn't mean that you 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 have to be this stern, always with this mean look on your face and fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No, no, no. That's not that's not what this is. This is about being good, intense positivity. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, that's what we built everything on. It's who I. It's who I've always wanted to be. 
and and like I said, you can't or we like we preach, you can't fault people for working hard and doing better, even if you don't like them or don't like how they go about things. Like there's people that there's people out there that do things that I don't agree with, but that doesn't mean that I don't want you to eat, not eat. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that I don't want to see you like take your significant other on a, on a vacation. Fuck yeah, you guys should be enjoying life. Because there are people that are into you. There are people that like you. So do it. Do a good job. Be a good person. If you're a little bit of a shitbag, that's okay too. I just might not want to hang out with you. Just like some people don't want to hang out with me. Mm-hmm. But the long and short of this, when people ask why, the most blanket statement of why the majority of people have success, bro, they're out working you. They're out working you. Mm-hmm. I've been outworked. I don't like that shit. It's kind of why I wake up every day and say, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. I say that in a mirror to myself. I have conversations with myself. You have to. Because if you don't, you're going to get outworked. <laughs> I don't want that shit. I want to fuck shit up. So why did you lose 25 fucking pounds in 40 days or whatever it is? Did the work. Did the work. And then some. Every single diet works. You just have to do the work. Every single workout program works that people do. Like, bro, there's a million different workout programs out there. They all do work. Mm -hmm. You just have to follow it to a T. Some might work with your body better than others and work with your head better than others. That's why you have to experiment. But if you don't go all in with it, give it everything you got, it's not going to work like that person designed. It's not. Mm -mm. I'm a bodybuilder through and through. I fucking love it. I just have to do functional stuff because I realize that I need to be able to put my arms above my head. I need to be able to do some functional shit when I work outside. I got another baby on the way. I'm going to be crawling all over the ground. I need to be able to fucking be functional and mobile, but I'm a bodybuilder at heart. That's just who I am, so I'm not going to fight it. I love it. It keeps me sane. It makes me feel good about myself. You have to find the things that work for you, and whenever you do them, just go all in. Yep. It's like looking at Andy Frisella. Some people fucking hate that son of a bitch. Hate him. Bro, have you ever seen some of the comments? Oh, yeah. They're brutal. People just blasting the fuck out of him. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, you can say whatever you want about the motherfucker. He is intense as fuck. Yep. But he built that son of a bitch, that company first for him, from the ground up. Bro, broke as fuck. Broke as fuck. Kind of like us. 2009. Did you ever see the truck he used to drive? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, he posted his Dodge Ram. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Even when he was sleeping in the back of his st- his first store. Yeah. So yeah, see if you can pull that shit up, Shane. So he's very intense, and he seems derogatory at times. But, bro, look what he's built. He he has, what, like 30 different fucking sports cars? So what, dude? He's into them. That's his shit. That's what drives him. He buys a vehicle. He wants. He needs to work harder. He might even have bought vehicles. I don't know if this is true, but just in my head, how I'm thinking, how I'm thinking right now, he might have bought a vehicle he just could afford, like his first one. He might have been like, I kind of can't afford the whole thing, but this will drive me to work harder. You know how sometimes we've done that too? I've been there. Yeah, you do something just to make yourself work harder to get more. Yep. He might have done that because, bro, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> no That's too shit. Yeah, he's talking about that was his, uh, that was his truck. All the shit on there, all yep. the decals. Look at all the different companies: BSN, Gaspari, yep. S2 Faction. That's the uh, the the supplement stores they have. Yeah, but some people fucking blast the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. But we, you, you blasting a dude for working hard, for hustling, bro. You know what a prick that guy is at home sometimes. Probably, I know what a fucking cocksucker I can be. I know how big of a dick you can be. Yep. He ain't no different. Mm-hmm. He's a human being just like us. He puts his pants on every morning just like us, just like every motherfucker out there listening to us. If he can do it, so can we, so can you, so can everybody. You just have to do one thing, the work. The amount of work that is, 
I mean, I could probably, I, I would love to have not him on here. I would love to have his wife on. <laughs> <laughs> be like, be like, what's he really like? And she's like, well, he's exactly what you think he is. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> so a version of myself, a little bit of a dick. You know, and, and, and I think that's a problem because uh, uh, with with people, well, the negativity, I mean, some of his shit, people just bust on him hard. I'm like, listen, mm -hmm. you're allowed to have disagreements with people, but just understand that uh, we all, uh, some people just have different things that drive them. You know, I like cars too. You know, I, I there's just a few things in my life that I wanted to do before I before I go into that. There, there are certain things that are that push me to want to do it and and I know what I have in, inside of me and like what I want that's pushing me to continue to this goal mm -hmm. you know but if you don't have something to bite yourself in the ass you'll get a little complacent you'll get a little stagnant and you need something to be like hey <clears throat> work fucking harder dickhead yeah the dangling carrot isn't enough you need something to fucking drive you mm -hmm. it's like it's like Justin and a bunch of other people in the demo crew buying new trucks, buying new cars. Bro, they're feeling the shit. Yeah. They feel empowered. They got it in their heart now. It's the greatest fucking thing in the world. Yeah. And seeing people like Andy, bro, broke as fuck 2009. It's, 20, it's 2020 right now. Bro's fucking massive, massive shit. Yeah. Bro hustles. Well, yeah. And like, you know, everyone, like, like you said, bitch about the him being like a little negative sometimes or derogatory. And... Bro, it's like it's it's if someone comes and asks you a question and asks your advice and you're very very good at what you're about to advise and you tell them, "Hey, you need to do it this way." Oh, but well, fuck you. Oh, but fuck you. But I have fuck you. But I have this too. Fuck you too. And I got to be home by 8. I don't give a fuck. Bro, those that's the shit. How do you expect him not to get frustrated? Yeah. He's telling you how to do it. Yes. And 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 the same thing goes for us. That's what I mean. Yeah, it, it, whenever whenever someone asks me for advice about anything, it's like you, people have heard I'm going to say some I'm going to I might hurt your feelings with this. Mm -hmm. But bro, do you know how many times my feelings have been hurt about something? Bro, uh, the shit that he's saying, I will guarantee you that the shit he says to himself in the mirror is worse. Way worse. He's telling himself to get himself fucking moving. Bro, I have conversations with myself every day in the mirror. Every day. Yeah. Whenever I say, let's go, motherfuckers, I say that same shit to myself. I look at myself and say, let's go, motherfucker. You got shit to do. You're fucking this shit up. You have to have that with yourself. And then you also have to be very honest with yourself and real with yourself when you fuck up. Yep. When you make a mistake. And, and, and stop seeking the, the easy way out answer. Everyone asks for advice and they want the answer that makes it the easy way out or the, the, how do I go from right here to right here? Give me that answer. Well, fuck, dude. If you think any of that's going to be easy, you are nuts. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, you can't be extraordinary without doing the big, the big things, the hard things. The hardest things in your life, those are what's going to put you ahead. Yes. Nothing else. No. Some uh, people I, might stumble into success. Some people might be born into it. Some people might have, you know, whatever that is. And that's great. But, <laughs> bro. I don't give a fuck about those people. No. I, I mean, I, I know. I appreciate every fucking penny that I make. Because yep. I know what it's like to have none. So does that son of a bitch. Yep. Bro. Andy remembers being broke. He remembers it every day. That's one of the reasons he probably gets so fucking angry about certain things because you see him all fired up. The passion. Bro, because he remembers every day being broke. I guarantee you if you said, do you remember having no money or a certain point in your life? He's like, yeah, I relive it every single fucking day. I guarantee it because there's a few times in my life where I'm like, I ain't forgetting it. Anytime I get a little too high on my fucking horse or feel my fucking Cheerios too much, all I think about are those times that I'm like, you, get your shit together. Here we go. Because you need to check yourself because yeah. sometimes your people won't check you. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to check yourself. Bro, I appreciate everything I have, and I fucking love it. That's why I do it with passion. That's why I do everything I can the right way. 
because I've done it the fucking wrong way. Yep. I've already made really big fucking mistakes. Really big one. I'm probably going to make more. Yep. You're, we're going to keep doing it. That's the only way to live. That's kind of that thing like, uh, like I'm not good at reading books. <laughs> just not a book reader. I fall asleep. I can't read them. I just fucking live. Mm-hmm. I enjoy reading articles, but I can't read. I don't read a book. I just do things. And, and I mean, that's how I, that's how we, I built my physique. That's how I built my, my life, my businesses, everything. We legitimately run this business, both all of these businesses on how we'd want to be treated. Yeah. Whenever we deal with our, our wholesalers, our retail companies that we deal with, bro, I just treat them the way I'd want to be treated if I was a retailer. Mm-hmm. Has to be beneficial. That's how, that's how we treat everybody. Treat, I, we treat everybody the way we want to be treated. The fucking golden rule of the Bible, the golden rule of life. Treat others the way you want to be treated. You fuck me over. I'm going to question you. You having a bad day? Something up? Yeah. We, we, we good? Because I think I'm doing everything I can, but why are you fucking me? And then, ah, this, that. All right. We're good. Yeah. Don't do it again, please. Do it again. Fuck you. And the same thing in return should happen to me. That's how they should treat me. If I'm having a bad day and I do something, it should be like, hey, you cool? You good, dude? Fuck's going on? You having a bad day? We all got bad days. Get checked. Then, all right, don't do it again, yeah. okay? That's life. Intense. It is intense. I kind of want to go see Andy's cars, though. I would love to see him. Uh, Sal's cool, too. His, his brother, Sal. He's funny. Uh, those two. <laughs> I remember Sal telling the story about those two fighting. Like physically fighting? Physically fighting each other. Nice. <laughs> like bears. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sal's a fucking animal, too. Yeah. Crazy. He was a big He was a big time college baseball player. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then he fucking shattered his leg. Fuck. Last game of the year. Oh, yeah. He was a big. He was a huge deal. Yeah, Dude, that video is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. He slid into home and fucking br- ruined all his shit. Bro, he was a fucking animal. Apparently, he was supposed to be drafted. Yeah. Or he was drafted. He was on the... I, I want to say he was on a minor league team. And that's what happened. And it ended everything. Man. But these dudes are... I is mean, he younger or older? I think Sal's younger. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, he, dra- he got drafted by the Cardinals. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, that uh, he did shatter his leg. In, didn't he shatter his leg in playing baseball, in, in yeah, pro, bit, in, pro ball? Yeah, in yeah. pro ball. I think, it, I don't know, i not uh, up to date on it all, but he was, uh, yeah. Look at Card- Shane just became a huge South Frisella fan. He's like, I'm going to get the Cardinals jersey. From him. I want a Frisella Cardinals jersey. Look jersey. at him. His average was like, his batting average, uh, 292. Yeah, bro. Apparently, the dude was a fucking animal. Like, he was no bullshit ball player. Now he runs first for him and just, he's always, bro, his fucking kids. I keep, bro, him, his sons. Have you ever seen his Instagram stories? Yeah. Everybody should go follow Sal Frisillo on there just for what he does with his kids in his stories. For that sole reason alone, you will not be disappointed. What does he do? His fucking son. He, anything he has, yeah. son has. Okay. <laughs> cowboy boots, son got cowboy boots. Certain boxers, Sun got ca- bo- boxers. Fucking uh, b- uh, handheld blower, sun gets one too. Backpack blower, sun gets one too. Anything he gets, sun gets. It's pretty cool. Bro, his son is out there in cowboy boots and no clothes, pissing on truck tires. Anywhere he goes, pissing out the, <laughs> off the deck. Bro, it's a fucking riot, him and his son. He, he is. That's pretty awesome. Bro, he's a good dude. Mm hmm. He's a good dude. He's a hardworking motherfucker. Talking to him up at Natural Body, up at the... Uh, block Party. Yeah, the Block Party at Natural Body in New York. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's great because he, I've probably said it before, but whenever I talk to him, he said, I can tell you everything you want to know about anything you want to know about. I'll tell you everything we've ever done. I'm like, man, that's a pretty bold statement. And he's like, yeah, you still got to go back and do the fucking work. And I'm like, oh, I like this guy a lot. Yeah. He's an animal. I know I've said it before, but just being a good motherfucker. Yeah. I don't I won't ever fault anybody for having anything they have in their life for working hard at it. Bro, if you work hard, you what the fuck, man? I get excited. Yeah, I do too. 
I, you, I love seeing someone like level up and like get that new ride or like get that promotion or bro you go on a fucking sick ten thousand dollar ball and ass vacation with your wife and come back and show me pictures i will be i will feel like i went on a fucking vacation yeah i'll make you I, bro i'm i get excited just thinking somebody's doing it yeah same somebody buys a new truck you know they're getting a blowjob in that truck Yes. Yeah, they're gonna they're 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 going to do their best within the first three days to have sex or get a blowy in that vehicle. Yeah, for sure. Break that fucker in. Yeah. So anytime I see it, I'm like, yeah. Somebody buys a new house, you're fucking on the kitchen table. <laughs> 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 right where everybody's gonna eat. <laughs> I lo- I love seeing the people get the like their first home. Like there was a, bu- uh, a guy just bought their first place. Like, fuck, he wore dude. the Jackson Sledge polo. He was yeah, all excited. Dude, He's dude. wearing his professional shirt. Fucking right. What a redneck fancy. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah, dude. It's so cool. That is so cool. Working hard is such a uh, self satisfactory self satisfactory feeling that I can't get enough of it. Mm-hmm. I know me personally, I get real weird and stagnant and f- kind of fucking loopy and fucked up if I don't have a goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. get weird. Yeah. If we I don't have do. a physical, if I don't have a physical goal, nor like a business or mental goal or something pushing me, I get a little fucked up. I, I, it's definitely half the reason I got involved with, with, with running and, and my diet and getting in shape and working with Kenny on my mileage. And bro, every time I get like complacent or, or, or something just gets easy, like I have to make it that much harder for myself. Yes. I have to. Yep. Physically, mentally, with work, with my relationships, with my family, each one has to has to level up. I do better whenever my life is full of shit to do. I do way better. I've never had more energy in my life than right now. Mm-hmm. It's never been more busy than right now. <laughs> it's great. I sleep less. I have more energy during the day. I'm losing weight. Still pretty strong. Businesses are doing well. I didn't ruin my marriage yet. Like, I'm in a good. I'm in good shape. Playing video games again. Me, I'm over here. I'm like, uh, so. I miss gymnastics. Where's it at? Fuck my life up. Give me some more shit to do. I miss it. Mm-hmm. I want to see the kids. I want to travel. I miss it. We, the gymnastics was so intense, but I'm like, man, I know, like I personally said it to myself. I'm like, you are not going to hear me say it. No, man, I am not seeing those kids go after something, not being a part of it. Like it's, it, it, it fucking hurts. It well, sucks. Yeah, what, what they've, what they've accomplished individually and as a team and as, as a company and what Hannah's done since last June. Yeah. Fuck dude. They all were going to States. All of them. Whole they, fucking gym. They all, girls that have never made it there all made it there in their first year here at, at Elegance. Yep. Bunch and of then, little and badasses. Then, and then right when they're supposed to go to states and regionals and all the big meets, boom. All over. All of it. Yep. But I miss it. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to see that excitement. I like seeing them nervous. Mm-hmm. I like seeing them flustered. It's good because of the character building. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, it's it just goes back to all that shit. Well, I mean, these are th- these are all common. Th- these are all uh, common themes amongst success in your life. I mean, look, look at Kenny. What's the other huge part of Kenny's life other than him working very hard at his job and doing very very good job wh- wh- where he's at, mm-hmm. being good with his family, in stupid good shape what's the other fourth thing that he does that's coach a hundred fucking girls with softball yep if you're involved with your community your kids the future of this country and you're taking care of yourself bro the dude's unstoppable that's how everybody should feel yes you should feel like a magnet just fucking people you're magnetic people can't get enough of it it's because you want more good shit yep it's That's, contagious. Yes. It it very much is. And it's tough because whenever you get around negative people, you hang out with a skunk long enough, you're going to start fucking smelling like one. You know? Yep. So it's kind of that thing where you 
you might have to make some hard decisions in your life to get away from certain people, and those certain people might be people that are, quote, unquote, seem like really important people, but they ain't good for you. Mm-hmm. You need to fucking spread them wings, motherfucker. You fly. You go. You do your shit. Get you a bad out. motherfucker. Yep. Yeah. Good times. Fuck. I love it. Mm, that was fun. It's, you got to have it, you, you got to passion for life. Bro, it's like that dude right there. We didn't talk about him. Look at that fucking cool welded fucking plate right there. Yeah. I'm going to go get it real quick. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Bro, this thing's sick as fuck. All welded. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> dude welded stars. <laughs> can't remember the fella's name but he welded this thing what in an hwmf plate for us oh here's this is a sick weld <laughs> how do you weld stars and then he welded hard-working motherfucker <laughs> yeah he spelled fucker with welds yeah <laughs> that's got to be pretty difficult i know i am not i i have i've never really welded anything long enough to say i could weld i mean i've i don't know welding but i'm gonna go ahead and say this isn't easy this Fuck takes no. a, this takes a skill. What do they call that? Like, I don't even know. Like when they're just like perfect circles like that. I I have again. I'm like, not, there's like a to, there's a term for that. They get I, off on it. I know Shane's gonna try and look it up right now. It will end up being just really wrong. I feel like Shane be good at welding. Probably would. Patience. I'm good at anything I do. Jesus. <laughs> We just didn't. We just we just did a great fucking go. segment. And here comes Shane. He's like, I'm fucking shut up. He's yeah. like, I know I'm good. You guys told me enough. <laughs> but no, this is incredible. Yeah. You welded an axe and sledge in there, bro. This is passion. This guy loves what he does. This guy knows he's good at what he does. Mm-hmm. He's so good at it. He ah, fuck. What is his name? It's got to be on that paper over there somewhere. He was in the demo crew. Any, either way, I'm going to go find it. Bro, this is what this dude loves. Mm-hmm. He has passion for it. He wanted to show showcase this shit, dude. I love it. It's cool. I can't get enough of this. When I see people do stuff like this, it makes me feel like I need to do a better job with what I me do. Me too. Yep. That's in... in can't ask for more. It, may, it, it makes you pick out the, the points that you, you are slacking on. You know, because I know I have to revisit certain parts of my life to to pull it back together. If because I'll get too invested in one thing and I'll run so hard with it, and then I'm like, "Fuck, fitness fell off again. Fuck, my home life fell off again." Like you just you have to pull yourself back in, revisit it, and just absolutely just make it better. I can't find this perfect perfect circle welding. It's not called that either. No, I know. I'm, it's there's a word. I just don't know what it's called. I feel like a dick for like not knowing that. Oh, wait here. <laughs> what a puddle? You know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea, Seth, to get like our own welding equipment. <laughs> like I it'd be sick if my truck was set up to like haul around like welding shit. Bro, some of the Anything coolest rigs in oil and gas are the dudes with the I know. welding units. I definitely need a dually then. <laughs> Every time I'd go do a training and there'd be a fucking, there'd be a sick rig out there, I'd be like, ah, oh, man, these guys are awesome. It's because it's... They're very particular about their shit, right? Like, it's, like, welding is very, very, I know it's very tedious, but, like, they are very, I would say, OCD about, like... Yes. Their shit, their equipment, their gear, all in a perfect Not spot. Only that, most of those rigs you're seeing are self-bought. Companies yeah. don't buy those for them. Right. Those 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 setups are like $150,000 setups. Like the truck, the setup, yeah. you know, the, the welding unit, all the lines, everything on there. Bro, that's not like fifty grand. Yeah. They spend a lot of money mm-hmm. because that's how they make money. Some of those dudes, bro, they get paid. Yeah. They get paid, but like... They are not, they are, are, some of them dudes I know, I know a couple of dudes that ran like two trucks and they were, they travel a fuck ton, mm-hmm. work 16 hour days, they're making like 300 grand a year. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Some dude. of the dudes that are hot welders, welding on fucking, on live, on live shit, 
that means that the the potential risk of the risk <laughs> drastically goes up. Yeah. Like, hey, let's minimize the risk. And so say they have to weld on a fucking line. They're going to kill the line, purge the, purge the gas out, block it so there's nothing in there. So if they burn through it, they don't explode. You understand? Yeah. So you followed me? Uh-huh. This is where they have to weld. They're going to block this. They're going to block them, purge the gas out, Mm -hmm. purge it out, block it. This is now nothing's in there. Okay. On some lines, on some things, some tanks, you can't do that. You have to do a hot weld or a live weld or whatever some of the terminology is where there's there's gas gas in in there there and you got to weld here. That guy has... He is a very skilled, sought-after, highly recommended person. Mm-hmm. Very dangerous. There's been some very scary incidences, fatalities that have happened from that. Yeah. So if you're one of those guys, you get fucking paid. Fuck yeah. Underwater welders, do you ever see them too? Actually, I did, yeah. Fucking. Because you were showing me. Uh, Blevies. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, fucking crazy. Boiling liquid. Uh, oh, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blevy. I can't believe it's this an is, acronym, right? Yeah. Boiling liquid uh, expanding vapor explosion. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Got to brush up on my fucking terminology. But anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. Badasses. You were right. What? The ble- What that means. Blevy? Yep. Yeah. I'm a Blevy. <laughs> I'm a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion about to happen. <laughs> Is that what you tell Hannah? <laughs> Watch out for the blevy. Watch out for the blevy. <laughs> you keep rubbing me that way. You're going to get a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion all over your face. <laughs> Man, do you know how to turn someone on? Uh, I'll fucking... <laughs> Oh, Jesus. They'll never be able to look at that word straight again. <laughs> Blevy, I think it's sexual. It is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all you guys at the job sites when you go over Blevies. Like, isn't that sexual? Isn't to bring that up to your yeah. safety guy. Yeah, every time somebody brings up a Blevy, you'd be like, isn't that a sexual term? At work? No. No, you can't say that. HR will be all over your shit. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate HR. <laughs> Me so, too. It's so hard. <laughs> so do I. I am HR. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only company, the only company this side of the Mississippi where you can draw dicks on your stuff and get away with it. <laughs> the more dicks you draw on shaker bottles, the more you sell. Dick shakers. Fucking crazy. Dick shakers, hot commodity. They were good times. No, blevies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never again will that be looked at the right way. No, uh, fucking. <laughs> I think oil and gas is back to work. I don't know. Waffle House is opening up in Georgia. Waffle House is opening up in Georgia? Mm-hmm. Georgia's opening back up, huh? Uh, I think on Friday they gave the permission, like the state gave permission for stores to open up, and they're like, wait a second, we're not ready for this. So I think most businesses aren't open still because uh, they weren't. Yeah, they got to prepare themselves yeah. as well. They got to get in, get everything warmed back up, mm-hmm. fucking start everything. Just They just can't go full bore, mm-hmm. so they're probably back in there. Gyms, did gyms open back up? In Georgia. Friday. In Georgia, yeah. Georgia, yeah. Georgia yeah. Ohio. I, I read another article that, some of them are delaying their opening because they want to make sure they're in uh, following all the protocols and they just don't want fine citations be shut down for some stupid yep. fucking reason yep. delay it even more yep. so they're people Getting are ducks in a row they are yep good, good. have to you know uh, that's that's the the good thing out of this that should come is everybody just be a little more conscious 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 man i'm having a hard time fucking talking today uh, about what they need to do to keep themselves and other people safe. Like me with the fucking bro, I'm a I'm actually a germaphobe. Mm-hmm. Like bro, you, you the the amount of hand sanitizer, bro. I have fucking Clorox wipes in my truck. I have Clorox wipes everywhere you go, just because 
No, taking that microbiology class and safety with bloodborne pathogens and all the shit that I took and learned about. I'm like, this fucking people are fucked up. You've been telling me for years. Yeah, <laughs> long time. We'd get back. Bob, you wash your hands? Wash your hands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I, I didn't. I, I, my mom used to be on us the second we walked in the house. Wash your hands. My mom take was too. Take your shoes too. off. Take your shoes off. You walk into somebody's house, take your fucking shoes off. Do not walk through someone's house with your shoes on. Have you been to a public bathroom lately? Not lately, but just <laughs> when it before. Yeah. <laughs> no, lately, we don't go fucking nowhere. <laughs> but whenever you go to a public bathroom, bro, you're walking in a public bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to walk home and go in someone's house? Are you fucking with me? Walk on their living room rug? Get the fuck out of here. Where, the ki where their kids lay, yeah. where they lay, where they play with their dog or lay there? Drop a fucking chip? A five-second rule at home. You walk in your socks all the time at home. It's not that bad. I used to, I could fucking go to my mom's house and eat off the floor. And it's probably safer to eat off of my mom's floor than it is at any fucking restaurant. Yep. I know that's the case at my parents' house for sure. Absolutely. So just being sanitary at home and clean, you know, that's just, I don't, I, that's how I've fucking been all the time. I don't know. <sighs> Makes sense. It, it, it does, but I just think that make sure everybody, you know, just be be much more also, be a little more courteous at, at the gym. Mm -hmm. Bro, at, if you're at the gym, wipe down your equipment. That's just always been gym etiquette. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, bro, we're all sweating. All of our fucking, everything is coming out of us. Night, you were fucking drinking the night before you go to the gym and you're just fucking sweating that shit out. Yeah. You know it smells a little different. You know it is a little different. Can't just go leaving it on the bench. No, dude. Wipe that shit down. Big fucking passing ringworm and fucking... Yeah, MRSA. MRSA. Fuck. And, yeah, dude. Clean that shit up. So just be a little more be a little more courteous and make sure that, you know, keep your, keep your distance away from buddy. It's hard if you're spotting somebody. If you're still giving somebody a spot on flat bench, they're still going to see your testicles. <laughs> yep, for sure. <laughs> Nuts in the face. But, I mean, I'm cool. I'm, I, I legitimately, personally, if all these things didn't occur, like the, the social distancing, I never, I don't, I'm not going to change how I do things. Just because I'm already very sanitary and everything, I'm not going to change. Yeah. I'm never going to stop shaking hands and hugging people. No. That's not going to occur. I, I just, I, that's my feelings about it all. If someone doesn't want, I'm, I don't go in and hug people that don't want to be hugged. That's, I'm not saying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, ah, no, but it's, I just, uh, I've always been this and I'm not going to change how it is. I could go further and say that, I mean, they're, ah, fuck it. Let's get into it for a second. Did you see the video about the two doctors out in California made the video about the numbers? Mm-mm. Yeah, there's a video that got put out. These dudes did the numbers, and they were talking about, <clears throat> put it this way, hospitals are getting huge funding to say that people have the coronavirus. Hospitals are getting huge kickbacks and big funding if people die from the coronavirus. So the more people that have COVID-19, the more people that die from it, the more money that hospitals get. So that's going to inflate numbers. Me meaning, if there's deaths occurring, it's being said that it's COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, cause of death is COVID yeah. or... Uh, Pennsylvania, they had to take back 200 deaths. Okay, that's they, a lot. They quote unquote miscounted. Yeah, that's a lot. And I think they get like big money, tens of thousands of dollars per death from COVID. I, I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that, but some of the stuff I've been reading, I didn't fact check everything. Mm -hmm. But these doctors, there's a huge video right now out about the doctors that are exposing a lot of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot of nurses publicly starting to state that, like, yes, anybody that died, that died from some type of complication that wasn't, they didn't get tested for COVID, are getting listed as COVID deaths. So there's a lot of people saying these things, and you don't know because everything's a shit storm now. Yeah. But it's one of the, it's like I always said, man, if it smells like shit, looks like shit, it's shit. There's some things going on, and I just look at it. I'm like, man, my best advice, everybody that's getting all flustered, always research everything and research both sides. Even read about the things you don't like, but mm -hmm. the things that this in this video, people tag, a ton of people tag me in it. 
because they know I'm, um, I, I read, I read a ton of stuff and I'm, I always stay up to date on everything. I just don't always, I don't fucking beat the ever loving shit out of it because I think everybody should go form their own opinions. Yes. Never take anything at face value. Mm -hmm. Never, never. You should always take, take the information, research, and then critically think about it. You know, if you take things at surface, at surface value, bro, <laughs> you're going to realize that fucking the world is a mean and nasty place and they're going to fuck you over. Yeah. Anybody that's ever been fucked over knows, got to go a little deeper than surface level. Yeah. And you got to think, you got to, you always have to do, whenever you have an argument with your significant other, like I could tell Hannah just. Oh, blah, 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 go at her. And then, ah, oh, fuck, Seth. Whenever I put myself in her shoes and look at how I am, I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, you fucking cocksucker. Why would you do that? I put myself in her position. You always have to look at things from every, yeah. from every standpoint. You have to. Mm -hmm. And then you have to question everything. Play devil's advocate. What happens if we do this? What happens if we do that? Yeah. So ah, do your own research. Everybody needs to do it. It's important. It's important. And right now with everything going on, just got to do your research, form your own opinions and stay unified. Make sure just because you disagree with somebody or they disagree with you, don't lose a friendship and don't lose, don't lose a sense of community over it. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and if, if it is someone that you're close to that, <laughs> You're all of a sudden getting into argument arguments about all this shit, bro. Just just stop. Just take <laughs> just, a step back. Just stop. You can have your opinions; they can have theirs. I mean, neither of you could be right, <laughs> you know. But just yeah, don't it, don't ruin a relationship over stupid shit. No, uh -uh. it's not worth it. Not right now. No, and 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 I think that's kind of that's an underlying goal. Yeah, of pe of the higher ups. So to say, mm -hmm. to keep us divided, there's way easier to fuck us over than mm -hmm. divided. It's easy. It's proven. I was looking for, where the fuck would I put that? Oh. I watched Hot Tub Time Machine last night. Yeah. How fucking good of a movie is it's that? It's great. We watched it like two weekends ago. Bro, have you ever seen it, Shane? Yes. Yep. I came across it halfway through, and I'm like, I forgot how fucking funny that movie it's is. Hilarious, yeah. It is awesome. It's great. Watch Hot Tub Time Machine and Trolls 2 over the weekend. Nice. Trolls 2. I don't like it as much as Trolls 1. Hmm. Trolls 2 is okay. It's... We started watching the Marvel Chronicles in, That's what in chronological saying. order. Now, what does that mean? So, like... Not the order in which they were made, but in the order in which they would have occurred in time. In the space-time continuum of the Marvel movies. Yeah. Yep. So it's not like, oh, uh, the Avengers. Yeah. So it's not like which one they were released like from a from, from a actual year. date standpoint. Right. So like, for instance, number one, Captain America, first Avenger, because technically it occurred during 1942 and 1943. Oh. Okay. And then Captain Marvel, which occurs in 95. But wasn't Captain Marvel like... Like 2019? Yeah. Yeah, released right. Released in 2019? Right. But it was based in 1995? Yeah. Huh. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep. And nope. then Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Incredible Hulk, which was from 2008. Edward Norton one. Yep. Which, I'm not going to lie, we skipped it. It's a, it's I a, wasn't going to skip it because I haven't seen it in a few years. And then I was reading online of all the reasons why people don't watch it. And I'm like, I can't watch it's it. It's not that great of a Not movie. wasting two hours. Uh -oh. But uh, pretty cool. I mean, all, all the What's little after the Hulk? Uh, after the Hulk was Avengers. Or no, no, no. Thor. First Thor. Uh-huh. And then we made it up to the first Avengers. We finished that last night. What is the last one? The last on the list is Spider-Man, or no, uh, that's been released was Avengers Endgame. Oh, so that's the very last one. And then Spider-Man Far From Home. Far From Home, yeah. Yeah. Then Black Black Widow Black technically Widow. would be somewhere in the middle of the chronological order. Because mm -hmm. the movie's a prequel. 
Right. It didn't happen after Endgame. Yep. I'm not releasing spoilers on why that is. Then, then like, one of my favorites is coming up here. Uh... Winter Ragnarok. S- no, well, yeah, that's one. Of, that's my favorite Thor, but my favorite Captain America is Winter Soldier. Maybe my favorite yep. Marvel movie of all time. Absolutely, what? yep. I 100% agree with that. Uh, listen, cocksucker, I don't <laughs> fucking take anything from you with movies anymore after your James Bond comments. <laughs> oh, my God. You can God. fuck right off. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan. Oh, no. So, <laughs> at last week when we were doing, when we were fucking shooting content... We had we got on a James Bond. Yeah. Uh, we got on James Bond, and my thing was, I was like, "Who's who is the best James Bond?" Like me, Daniel Craig is James Bond. Yeah. Daniel Craig is my man. He's my number one. I just think he he definitely fucking definitely kill you, shoot you in the face, and he could definitely steal your woman. For like, sure. That's just that's like James Bond, like Daniel Craig, like Sean Connery started it all. Like Sean Connery definitely fucks. Like he's the guy that would definitely he back at back in the day when it started you were like man handsome guy he can definitely he's got definitely, the accent yeah and everything the whole nine and then Shane said Daniel Craig sucks I hate Daniel Craig <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I I put I put Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan and like one, one like tied for first oh my god I can't I can't do Pierce Brosnan I get golden eye like. But Roger Moore. No. I like Roger Moore. Daniel Craig's at the bottom of my James How Bond list. How the fuck is Daniel Craig at the bottom? Because he's not good. What are you talking about? He's the best. No. How's that not. possible? Spectre's one of the worst James Bond movies. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know some of these other Bonds. David ne- Neven? Neven? I never heard of him, but Daniel Craig's below him, too. Sean Connery. <laughs> Sean Connery. I love Sean Connery. <laughs> Listen, it goes Daniel Craig. No. Nope. Sean Connery. Then Pierce Brosnan. Nope. Then Roger Moore. Nope. That's how it, it goes. Okay, if I actually had to do a serious top four. Yes. That's Daniel what, Craig's below that. Like, I'm doing Pierce Brosnan, Sean Connery, Roger Moore, then Daniel Craig. P- Pierce Brosnan is the best. No, he's not. Yeah. He looks like James Bond. He is. Like, he... You know why? <laughs> this sounds kind of... Okay, it sounds kind of gay, but like if, <laughs> listen, that dude, James Bond, you think like, oh, he's getting with all the bitches, right? Well, like when he's like there, he's like kind of out of shape. He's not in like real good shape, but he's got like the old school man chest hair and like he just has the boomer like, I don't know. Steal your woman type of yeah, thing. Yeah, so like the fact that I noticed that, I don't know, you can say what you want, but I don't know. I'm 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 taking... Every day, all day, Daniel Craig. That's James Bond. For sure. Bro. That's Goldeneye. Everybody loves Goldeneye. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's another reason why. Yeah. Goldeneye's yeah. best N64 game of all time. Yes. <sighs> yeah, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig all fucking day. All day. I know, like, look at look at Pierce. He has his finger on the trigger. Yeah, you don't do that. There's there no trigger control. Man. Oh, here's he's here's all th- here's all three of the best. I, I, that is definitely all three of the best. Daniel Craig, Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> Daniel Craig would legit beat the fuck out of you. Like, I feel like. Daniel Craig, James Bond, sure he's the steal your woman guy, oh. but he's a fucking double agent. Tarantino ranks 007 actors. Can you guess who his favorite Bond is? Ah, oh, Jesus! It's probably Roger Moore. God, this is such a hard article to read because of all these ads. Fuck. Fucking bullshit. All right, let's uh, hear it, I, dude. I'm trying you're to figure screaming. it out. This is like a fucking. This, I don't even know how to read this. What is it, in Spanish? No, there's just so many fucking ads. Okay, here's his order. <laughs> All right. Tarantino says, number one, Sean Connery. Yeah. Number two, Pierce Brosnan. Nope. And a little bit under Pierce, 
Roger Moore. Yep. Get the fuck exactly. out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm perfectly fine with Sean Connery being first. He's he, an awesome Direct person. quote, Connery's at the top, but I really, really like Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> fuck yeah, he does. Uh-uh. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I like Daniel Craig. Oh, he says he also liked Roger Moore a little more when he's not playing Bond. <laughs> so <laughs> that's it's a, such a fucking yeah. No. What the <laughs> hell? That's too biased. Oh man, we're talking about being James Bond. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Daniel Craig is not James Bond. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yep. Who? I don't know. I think he's cool. I like them all. Either way, I would have loved to be James Bond. I, I no, I I just. I love the movies. Yeah. I'm, I love all James Bond movies. I'll watch them all. Anything without Pierce Brosnan in it. I was about to say anything without no. Daniel Craig. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm just going to keep hating Pierce Brosnan just because fucking Shano over here. No, I, 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 GoldenEye, obviously, it's an iconic movie. It's an iconic James Bond movie. Mm-hmm. But I like Casino Royale. I like... Uh, I think new, Goldfinger's my favorite one. The new, James, the new one coming out is... Uh, what's a new one? I don't know. Uh, it's like a. I can't. It's too long of a thing uh, for me to try and put together. They always have funny, like, like not funny, like, but good names. Cheesy names. Yeah. Yeah. Die no time day. to die. No time no, to die. Yeah. Exactly. No time to die. Except <laughs> Daniel Craig can die, then we can have a new James Bond. He doesn't have any time for that shit. How old? Not is in Daniel real Craig? life, just in the movie. I know. Is he He's in his sixties. Or 50s? Daniel Craig? Yeah. Daniel Craig's definitely in his early 50s. Yeah. That's awesome. He's 52. 52. Fuck, man. I'm not scared to be like 50, 52. Because I feel like I'm going to just be like... <laughs> Look at you now. Now you lost all this weight. You're like, I'm going to fucking kill it as I get older. If I can get chiseled... <laughs> fuck yeah. I have a jawline now. <laughs> I didn't it, is know. A, it is a sick jawline. Thank you. There was a couple pictures I saw. I'm like, man, Bob's never had that jawline. No, not nope. in my entire life. Nope. Like not one time. I also noticed in some of the pictures that I can't picture you without a mustache now. No. Definitely be fucking weird. It'd be very weird. Like if I, sh- it's like when I shave the beard off, people are like, oh man, like you look younger. I also got to- told how old I look this weekend, by the way. By? My children. <laughs> um, <laughs> Eddie did say you were old. <laughs> She was like, my dad's old. I was like, oh, I'm not that right, old. She, we, we, we went to the store. We had the, we, you know, her and I had the, we had the mask. And she's like, why am I wearing this? I was like, God, oh, so, you know, because of the coronavirus. She's like, but can it get through here? And I'm like, yes, it can, Adeline. She's like, I'm not supposed to touch my face, though. I'm like, no, you're not. And she's like, but I keep touching it. And I'm like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to win this conversation. Just wear the mask and shut the fuck up, yeah. kid. It's because we have to. But she was like, she questioned everything. I'm like, why is there no one having a conversation with a 12 year old? Because mm-hmm. a 12 year old's going to just be like, this is dumb. She she thinks on a completely different level. By the way, like uh, when we were playing playing games this weekend, mm-hmm. she one came into the game and didn't realize her keyboard and her mouse were set up and not the controller. Okay, mm-hmm. so she wasn't playing with controller yeah. on Call of Duty. She was uh fuck what. So she didn't know all the buttons, okay? So she, now she's not using a controller, doesn't know all the buttons, and she was eating something because she, she was really hungry, she said. Mm-hmm. She's always hungry. So, like, we're in the middle of, like, a fight. I get my ass kicked. She's eating, laughing. Killing people. Killing people, looking at their dead faces. I'm like, what? Bro, I'm telling you, this kid's a fucking animal. Like, the, the hardest part for her was eating. <laughs> <laughs> was the eating part <laughs> i watched her whenever whenever the one night you guys were playing i came into a room and i'm like you, what are you doing and she had a dilly bar <laughs> she had a controllers the controller ps4 controller in her hand and a dilly bar in her hand as well with the controller and i'm like i'm like what are you doing she's like oh, you know you playing with the guys yeah yeah and then like i saw her go take a bite out of the dilly bar lift the controller up to her face Bite it and keep playing. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit down. Yeah. I'm going to watch this shit show. Sure enough, she's killing people, mm-hmm. saving people, and eating a deli bar. Yeah. And laughing and carrying on and doing this. And I'm like, 
how the what the fuck is going on? Like she's the, the ability to multitask is unreal. I need every ounce of my attention in that game. Every that's, ounce. That's why I say these people that play video games are multitasking and are capable of doing very intricate things. Mm-hmm. Like they need to be able to take these 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 things that they do with video games and apply it to the real world because it is it does have a huge benefit. Yeah. She's also a female. Females are definitely better at multitasking than males. Agreed. Way, Way better. better. Way better. So at the same time. I know. Probably have the same underwear on too today. <laughs> Gray. Not uh, stripes. Oh. Horizontal. I don't have any horizontal stripe Adidas. Two pair. Bought them on purpose. Dick looks way bigger. Uh, <laughs> but it's a true story. Vertical doesn't help. Let's see what I can find here. <laughs> but she's. <laughs> but it blew my mind. Like she's sitting there playing this, and I'm like, she yeah. is crazy, crazy talented. Yeah, she's pretty good. She is. Uh, she's unique. So yesterday, she's ar- not arguing, but just questioning the masks. Mm-hmm. And asking all these things. And I'm like, it minimizes risk. It still can get through. But you're not breathing, sneezing. It's not getting out there. Everybody, da, da, da. But uh, she definitely had a solid argument of why the fuck this is stupid. But, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then on the way home, I took my hat off. I was just driving along, squinting a little bit because of the sun would peek out. And I'd be like, oh, man, look at that over there. I'd get all wide-eyed and excited. And she's just looking at my forehead. And I'm like, you looking at my wrinkles. She's like, they're like there all the time now. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, you dickhead. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting older. She's like, yeah, you do look older. And I'm like, fuck. So, Because she, usually she butters me up. And is always like, you look young, dad. You're still super strong and you look great, this and that. Just fucking kissing my ass she she got me this weekend she's like you look older <laughs> fuck <laughs> and then hannah found a couple grays on my head we were laying on the couch and she's like oh, look at that i'm like what what's there boobs where nipple hanging out <laughs> yeah, I don't know. yeah where <laughs> what's going on she's like you have gray hairs and i'm like god damn it <laughs> get, fuck. no i get out of here it's like what do they look like she's like they look great <laughs> <laughs> But yep. Kim said she's been catching me like squinting to see things. Oh, really? Yeah. Like when we sit at the kitchen table to eat and like I'll have to like squint to look at the stove clock now. Oh, boy. And and she's like, you squint a lot. I'm like, no. I was like, no, I don't. And she's like, I see you squint to like like focus on something. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Which I'm really upset about because yeah. I have some of the best vision on the planet. I'm I always like talk up my vision like I love getting a physical because of the eye exam give me the eye exam I'll fucking read that bottom line like uh, I could re- like I don't know some shit now is like it's because you're getting older getting older need more carrots no Bob you're getting old your vision's not what you think it is I'm going I'm gonna go to the doctor get it checked yep mm-hmm I uh, I don't have good vision. I don't have good hearing. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> that, that's that's the excuse I use with Kim when I'm not listening. I bad hearing, getting oh, older. Bro, the girls fuck with me so hard at home because there's so many times that like they're talking to me. I'm like zone the fuck out. Yeah. Just out in left field into something, and then Hannah will go, "Hey," I'm like, "What's up?" And she's like, "We've been talking to you for two minutes," and I'm like. I'm sorry. I haven't been listening. Adeline's asked you to move three times in the past 30 seconds. And I'm like, what do you mean? She said, excuse me, because I was like standing in front of the silverware, just like and on on the island, just like <laughs> in my own world. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, she said, excuse me. And apparently I moved like an inch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I kept inching forward. And then finally, Hannah's like, hey, what's up? She's like, you're not listening. <laughs> and Adeline's standing there like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> like, I know. I, I got I got called out this weekend on it. So standing in the kitchen and she's, she's like, hey, what did I just say? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you were talking about like what we should do for dinner. And <laughs> you're like, yeah, what did I specifically just ask you what you want to do? I'm like, fuck. I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I wasn't listening. She's like, 
No shit. Yep. I feel so bad. I really do. I don't do it intentionally, Dude, though. I used to hate that shit in school. Like, when you're not listening, the teacher goes, okay, can you repeat what I just said? Fuck. Nope. No. Fuck that, Why dude. I ask me. That? I got called out in chorus for that shit, and she she may she was like, "Sing what we just what we just sang back." Suck on my balls. I was like, "Sing." I was like, "Like me single me out with like a hundred people." I was like, "I'm not singing that." She's like, "You can go right down to the uh, fucking." You can go down to the right to the principal's office. office. Mm-hmm. I definitely, uh, I I definitely would be much more of a dickhead in school. I. I probably wouldn't make it through out of high school. No. I'd no. be too much of a dick with my be. current mentality. Yeah, yeah. Realizing what a bag of dicks it all is. Oh, that was another thing Adeline was talking about. Like, I was like, hey, we, we had a day together. Kids don't get out much. They're fucking stuck inside. So I was like, oh, how's school going? Good. Are, you're not really, are you learning anything? No. You're not like that's one of the things I see like why going to school is so important. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, that's not what I figured out. I'm like, <laughs> <"All> <laughs> I right, hear it. It's like, what did you figure out? She's like, I figured out that I waste seven hours of my day at school, and I'm like, you waste seven hours of your day. She's like, yeah, I can get my schoolwork done in an hour and a half. I was like, you get all your schoolwork done in an hour and a half, and she's like, yeah, I, I, I have all A's still. I'm like, you still have all A's. You get all your work done in an hour and a half, and she's like. <laughs> And I, and I was like, so you feel like your your time has been wasted this whole time? And she's like, yeah, it has been. I'm like, what are you going to do with the other seven hours of your day? And she's like, I'm getting better at video games. <laughs> I'm like, she does gymnastics, plays video games. So, I mean, it's it, she's, I, I don't know how to say she's wrong because she's doing all the work that the school requires. Mm-hmm. I think it's bad that they're not in school. I understand that shit gets spread at schools quickly so when the schools do open back up everybody's going back to fucking school yeah also think it's very important for social interaction yeah i mean especially she's, with little kids she's still doing all of her other shit what's wrong with her playing video games i i would love for her to still does uh, her conditioning oh and yeah her fucking i think personally with school uh homeschooling in my opinion if you have a good homeschool teacher mm-hmm. <laughs> like if you and your significant other can do it uh, i'd say that'd be the way to go but i think that adeline needs to she needs to be put in something that's very challenging, mm-hmm. like maybe a half day of school and then the other half of the day is dedicated to the gymnastics. Like th- that's been discussed already for us of what to do with her because like in school, bro, it's, it, 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 it's, I'm realizing it's very bad. It's not good. It's not challenging enough for her. Yeah. She needs to be challenged way more. Yeah. If way she's not challenged, more. she gets bored and then that's when you get in trouble and you're just. Yeah. You know I, and mean? I'm afraid that could happen, but the gymnastics keeps her grounded because Hannah's up her ass. Yeah. She's got to be. Mm-hmm. Whenever you have a kid like that, you have to kind of be on the motherfucker. Yeah. You got to be on it because otherwise they're going to get themselves in trouble. Like, if I, the gym saves my life. Mm-hmm. Bro, whenever I, oh, you're all, you know, people would be like, oh, you're in the gym and lifting weights. I'm like, yeah, it keeps me out of trouble. And they're like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, no, bud. No, really. I like partying and I like, I like partying a lot. So if I go to the gym, I stay out of the partying scene. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, no. No, really. Really. <laughs> I love doing fucking, I love doing drugs, drinking, and partying in college. Mm-hmm. The more I was in the gym, the less I did that. Yep. So, yep. So we have a snack here today. I am not looking forward to eating these. These were, these were brought up whenever I was, uh, you guys do the streaming on Twitch. Yeah. Cowboy Bones, is that correct? That's correct. Follow, everybody go follow Bob on Instagram. You'll see the swipe up for Cowboy Bones, yep. his Twitch account. Um, it's entertaining. I join in the fun at least a couple times a week. Yeah. I, I'm getting better. You are doing, getting better. I was doing good at Plunder by yeah. myself. I was just running around, like, learning how to uh, just learn the controls better, mm-hmm. sniping people. Lighting people up with the LMG. I was getting better. Doing pretty good. I had eight kills, seven kills, and nine kills, all in three different games. And then I played with Shane and Dr. Dangles, mm-hmm. or Professor Dangles, as a, as a subscriber in his channel. That kid, they fucking, they lit everybody up. I had one kill. They're pretty good. I, but my thing was, I was supporting them. Yeah. I was definitely yeah. shooting people while they were killing them. You'd they got all the kills. I just didn't get the kills. They got the final shot. Bro, you got the, you playing with a team or a squad, you have to you have to be your own role. 
Because like if everyone's getting kills on the team, someone's not saving, someone's not looting. Yeah, but they definitely did way more of everything. Like oh, you got I, the monies. I'm a good distraction. I'm a very good distraction. Yeah. Like go like I'm the I'll be the first to go in. She's like, oh, we should go in there. I'll just run in there. Ah. Get killed. Like oh. maybe unload on a few people. You come out and clean up and. But yeah, you know, without you collecting money and saying like, hey, he's on the roof. Like yeah. how are we supposed to know he's on the roof? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, whenever I was playing with you guys, mm -hmm. somebody brought up which one's better, red vines or Twizzlers. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Twizzlers all day. Yep. But some people love red vines. I don't, like I don't know if I've much. ever had a red vine. Really? Yeah, I don't think Get so. Get the fuck out. I love red vine. Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Favorite fast food joint? F like fast food? Favorite fast food joint. Like, what's your favorite? Like, how shitty of fast food? Whatever. Like, fi I five guys. Shane? Taco Bell. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> if, if, like, if it's not... Drive-thru. Drive-thru fast Coke, food. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Uh, Coke guy, Coke yeah. guy. I'm a Coke guy. Yeah. Um, Lay's or Pringles? Lay's. Lay's. Pringles. I like Pringles. I thought I was a Lay's guy. I, I don't like, like Lay's. They're too greasy for me. Potatoes or rice? Rice. Potatoes. Chicken or steak? Steak. Steak. Burgers or hot dogs? Burgers. Burgers. Beer or light beer? Beer. Beer. Scotch or bourbon? Bourbon. 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 Mm. <laughs> oh, I like this game. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Once I heard the Red Vines thing, I was thinking about it. I'm like, man, there's so many like little things. Mm -hmm. Like, favorite chip? Doritos. Mm -hmm. All time. Nacho cheese Doritos. That's my shit. Yep. Anyways, we'll get to this snack here. Twizzlers. It got brought up that somebody liked the orange cream sickles, the or orange cream sickle flavored Twizzlers, and I was like, I've never fucking seen those before in my life, nor do I think they'd be any good. Sure enough, we Adeline and I were walking through the store, and here they fucking are. Like, why? Why even put low fat snack on there? Because it has only one and a one and a half grams of fat per two pieces. So they they're just gonna put whatever they Bro, can on there. That's true. <laughs> there's 30, 30 carbs in two pieces. 15, 15 carbs, 10 sugars per fucking strand. Mm. Either way, I saw them and I was like, oh, and then I realized they're filled. They're cream filled Twizzlers. Now, I am not into this fucking snack at all, but I feel like I got to try it. I know your ass ain't trying it because these. I'll try like a, like a little. Uh, they, they just look like a, like a, not a good snack. I mean, they smell like orange cream sickles. They smell. Them. This oh, is something. They smell good. This is something I would never eat. Here, take one. You're gonna have to open it up and just pull one out. Don't finger my fucking bag up. Get them dirty things out of there. Do you hand? Do you sanitize them hands? I saw you wiping your face like ten times this whole time. Oh, I, I'm just fucking with they're you. They're all I sticking together. Yeah, open the bag up big time. We'll put it in a ziploc. I thought I was going to just be able to pull it out of big, there. Big time, that bag. Big time. it. Big time. it. Big yeah. time, Shane. Not that much big time. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. You've touched at least all of them. <laughs> I just love criticizing him so much. Jesus it's God. so much fun. It's like It was like Adeline telling Emmy how to, how to do it. Uh, I was watching him do gymnastics, and she was teaching it. She's like, no, do more. Do more. Just look at the sky. Flip over. Do the flip. Flip, do it, and I'm like, this sounds like that thing out of uh, out of uh, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Whenever he was teaching him how to surf, and he's like, "No, you're doing too much. Do more." Oh yeah. Wait, do less. Do less. You're doing too much. Just pop up. Just pop up. Do less. Then he's like, "Well, now you're not doing anything. Now you're just laying there." <laughs> oh man. These smell so good. Here, let me cut. Like... Chop one up. That's why you have a knife on you. All right. So these are cream-filled Twizzlers. They're orange Twizzlers with a cream-filled center. Um, I normally wouldn't get this, but I got to try it just because they were talking about them on the fucking Twitch. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, bro. Listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, these are fire. <laughs> I'd eat the shit out of that. <laughs> I'm so happy I fucking said these suck so bad and they're really good. Holy bro, shit. those are delicious. Wow. I never would have bought these. Never. Way better than regular Twizzlers. Way better than regular licorice. That's not even in the same category as the licorice. The texture of this is way different. It's way softer. It's red vines, red vine texture. Like how soft it is. Listen. Fuck, that, if I wasn't on, on keto, that would be a snack. That would be a staple. Listen. If I was all tuned up, a little stoned up in the summertime, yeah. looking for like a low fat snack. <laughs> yeah, this is what I would this is what I would enjoy. A couple a few of these. Like just hanging out. Mm-hmm. Something sweet. Because I like shit like this that's that's light. That's one of the reasons I like gummy bears. Mm-hmm. I like things that are just I like sugar. Obviously, I think everybody figured out that I like carbs. Yeah. But like uh yeah. This is way better than I thought. I was about to score this way fucking low just by looking at them and all that, but smelling them, tasting them. Same. Great, great snack. Where's your candy score at? I really like them, but I'm going to give them a seven-one. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. A seven-one as an overall snack, or a seven-one in overall the candy snack in the candy category. Candy category, like, like with candy bars and stuff. Or just like we got to put it in. I'd put candy bars in the candy category. Like I'd put this in like because you know like chips aren't the chips, same. Yeah. Chips aren't the same as as a candy. Like mm-hmm. if you go for a chip snack, that's different than going for a candy snack. Yeah. From a candy snack standpoint, where are you ranking this? <clears throat> Seven nine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Not too sweet either. Like I was expecting the like the filling to be like really sugary, Mm-mm. which it is kind of, but it's it's not as strong. Bro, these are really fucking good. Mm-hmm. I'm blown away. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll say that good good call in the candy category. I was gonna say seven eight, mm-hmm. and then overall snack, a seven one's a solid score. Yeah, I hate to take the same scores as you, but that's kind of where I was heading. It's still it's still in that thing. Like if you can if you get if you see them, bro, bye. They're fucking good. Yeah, they're good for a one-time buy if you want to just try them. Yeah, abs- they're worth. They're worth the. They're worth the. What did I pay for that? Is it on the front of there? Like three ninety nine or three seventy nine? Two ninety nine? I don't fucking know. It's not on there. Yeah. Bob, can you pass those back over here? <laughs> Thanks. Oh man, tasty. So we have the All American Roughneck release tomorrow night or yes. tonight. It's. Tuesday. Let's say the date. Tuesday, April 28th. Tuesday, April 28th, we have the All-American Roughneck release. This release has a great amount of personality to it. I'd say that this is the one with the most personality in it. For sure. It's got us in it. It's got everything. It's it's like we started this podcast off with the intensity of everything. Like, bro, we mm-hmm. are... It's good to be intense, and it's good to be a good motherfucker. This, this one, Boats and Blowies... <laughs> Like, talk about a summertime shirt you wear to the fucking dock. Yeah. Yeah. Go out fucking fishing. Whatever it is, it's supposed to be fun. All-American Roughneck Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Prestige Worldwide. Uh, the fishing shirt, the Roughneck fishing shirt. Yep. Catching catching beers, drinking fishes. <laughs> uh, tits or tires. Tits or tires. If it's got tits or tires, I can ride it. <laughs> I've never heard a more truer statement said by a fucking gearhead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to fucking gearheads, you know that they're going to be able to ride, wrench, and work with anything that has tits or tires. Yep. You walk into a mechanic spot that he's wrenching on stuff, tits on the wall. Yep. Talks about his woman, she's got great tits. <laughs> I, I've, that's been a fucking staple in my head forever. Yep. Like, how many bikers are like, my wife's got great tits. You want to see them? No, Jim, I don't want to see your wife's tits. They're great. You should see them. I got a picture. Jim, keep your wife's tits to yourself. It's a thing. Yep, for sure. Fucking biker guys. I love them. So it's the whole the whole gearhead mentality with that thing. And I mean, it's the same thing like Jeff Galia, JG. Yep. Same things. If it's got tits or tires, I can ride it. I don't doubt that, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ride a wheelie naked with a quad down your fucking road. That's Jeff. <laughs> oh, man. 
That was cool to do something fun, refreshing with the designs and good spring release. Yeah, some cool colors. Absolutely, that's the whole the and the shirt. Nope. United we stand. That the is a big shirt for us in the past. That was a huge shirt for us in the past. It is, it is the one that I will go for often. That design on that color shirt. Yeah works Mm -hmm. that's the big thing with this release is the united we stand divided we fall everybody knows that that is a very common thing being unified as a community is so important the shirt that i have on the support local shirt this is the one that uh you and i felt really strongly about making sure that we have yeah it was the first one i designed when we were doing this release this was uh i mean you and i've had conversations about what we wanted to do with it Mm -hmm. and uh you kind of made sure that yeah i mean it, it would have been uh, it would have been great to uh, sell this shirt and take all the proceeds and donate it to some, something great in our community. However, uh, we, we thought it would be better to give it to you guys for free. You're always supporting us no matter what. So if we give this to you, to you for free, you can in turn wear this in your own community and, and show, the, show the appreciation to, to your people. Stand for something. For sure. Wear the shirt. This shirt will be free, $75 or more. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is add it to your cart. Yep. Our goal with this was to get people to, rather than like you said, fuck it, uh, it, we could sell this shirt, take all the proceeds, and and put it into our community, donate it, this and that. Mm -hmm. Rather than that, we want to give it away to you for free, Mm -hmm. and then we want you guys to wear this in your community. We want you guys to go to your local shops. I want you to wear it whenever you go to get your haircut at your local joint. I want you to do it whenever you go to the farmer's market. I want you to wear it whenever you go to the mom and pop shops, whatever it is. Wear it and let people know that you are there to support the, your local community. You're there spending your hard-earned money for them. Yeah, you, if you think for a second the pizza guy doesn't notice when you walked in to pay for your pie and that says support local, whether he says something to you or not, he saw you walk in with that shirt. Support your local area. Yep. Ten dollars for a pie is important to that pie shop. Yep. This it goes it, it it goes so deep within a community. We say it all the time. Don't just you don't need to take thousands of your dollars and put it into your community. It's great to be able to do those things, but every little bit matters. It also matters that you show support. Whenever you go somewhere and do something. Great. Tell everybody about the experience. Go somewhere and then tell everybody where to go get their pizza. Tell everybody about where to go get their haircut. Tell everybody about the experiences you had in your local community to continue to grow because without small businesses in your communities, it's going to fall apart. Yep. Supporting your local community is so important. The, the awareness alone and, and bro, these people notice when you're there every week. Yes. It... it it's just like you said. I want you guys to wear this shirt with pride, and I want you guys, whenever I wear this shirt, I, I feel a sense. I haven't seen a support local shirt, like, yet. No. I haven't seen it, and, and I don't care if I do or not. The whole goal is I'm going to hold myself accountable whenever I wear this shirt. Whenever I walk in somewhere I wear it, I know that I'm, I, I'm, I'm walking in. These people see a shirt that says support local. You, so you support me. Fuck yeah, I'm here. To support you and your local spots. That's the goal here. I want you guys, I want people to feel me. And, I, and I'm going to fucking back my own word up. So we go into our community. Do the same. Get to know your community. Get to know your business owners. Those business owners' children go to school with your children. Yep. Those business owners are paying taxes just like you pay taxes. They're making your community, your schools, your community exactly what it is. Support them. They'll support you. Yep. Get to know them. Ask them about what they're doing, and they'll do it in turn. Yeah. Just like the barbecue place up the road. Just like EJ's right up the road. Just like fucking Juniper Grill. All the people that work at Juniper Grill, they all know us. Bell Luna, same thing. The people at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Yeah. Every, every worker there knows us super well. The manager at fucking Chick-fil-A. Everybody. They, it is all about supporting your local spots making sure you know them making sure they know you it plays such a huge role and especially at times like this i couldn't stress it enough so the all-american roughneck release tuesday april 28th 8 p.m eastern standard time please be there at 8 Mm p.m support your local shit this is intense 
Every release we have is intense. Doesn't matter if we yeah. have fucking two thousand items like back in the day, or we have thirty thousand items. <laughs> Things go very quickly. People yep. are excited. I can't thank you all enough for your support with this. Everything that we do, you're going to see the best we can do at it. Yep. It's intense. This is uh, this release has a whole lot of personality in it. It's got a lot of good feeling. Cool new hats. A ton of new hats. The dad hats. Yep. Dad hats. This is this one. New snapback, 110 snapback. This is a this is a sailor shirt. A sailor. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> it came out so fucking cool. <clears throat> we have a matching white dad hat for that. Yep. Everything can be previewed um, on allamericanreffneck.com on the blog. Otherwise, be there sharp. Also, pump covers. Yes. We have the two-tone yellow and white on black pump cover. Yep. Yep. Yellow and white. It's a big one. Steeler country. You know what? It's just, it, it is. It's Pittsburgh colors, but it's also just fire color scheme. Yep. Really is. So... Yeah, good times. Yep. Uh, I can't stress this all enough to you, everybody. Be a good motherfucker. Be an intense son of a bitch. Be the best person you can be. Anybody that isn't for you being who you want to be, I'm going to say get them the fuck away from you. Mm -hmm. I've been in really good life situations, and I've been in really bad life situations, and I know that the people that support me whenever I want to be the best, most intense motherfucker – Man, I love them people. Yeah. They support me. People that are in the local area. Just everything that they do for us here and everything that you guys do for us to make everything that we have possible. Bro, I can't thank you all enough. You always see me just bust my balls this, every fucking day. Love it. Eat it up. I don't like not working. No. I don't like not seeing other people working. Every worker is an essential worker in my book. Yes. Feed the family. Hustle your balls off. I love seeing you sweat. I love seeing you buy new trucks. I love hearing about a vacation and you fucking under waterfalls. I don't care how fucked up it is telling another man a fucking perverted story. I don't mind if they're in my DMs. I like them. I think it's funny. I think it's exciting. It's good. It's positive, good shit. Life is supposed to be full of it. Times like this with your local community, like this shirt. Bro, wear this shirt with pride. You can purchase the shirt as well online. You or, you, if you order more than $75, add it to your cart. You get the support local shirt for free. Yep. You can purchase another one. Wear it with pride. Show your local community the support. Mm -hmm. spread, the, spread, spread it. I don't care if it's a fucking $5 at your local fucking hardware store. I don't care. Every sale matters to those people that have those small businesses. Yeah, post about them, tag them in all your shit. Make them well known. Absolutely. fucking mm -hmm. Yep. In a world where everyone's so quick to say, to say what you did bad or I had a bad meal or I had this or that, bro, just push them. Push the good shit. But without further ado, Shane, you got any more questions over there for us? Yes, I do. All right, let's roll with it. Pull the internet. These Oh, these questions, oh. these are the fucked up questions. So I got to say it. Everybody makes fun of me about my repetitive talk here. I gotta, can't not let it get it in. These are not to be taken serious, everybody. If this is your first time listening to podcast. These are not to be taken serious. They're fucked up. They're over the top. They're from the card game. Their card game called Answer the Internet from Barstool Sports. Mm -hmm. Not affiliated with them in any way, but we just think they're funny. Fucked up. It's supposed to be. Some of you people that listen to this often take these questions way too far, saying like, "Mary fucking kill Carol Baskin, Hillary Clinton, and like AOC, Sarah Palin." Sarah, that was a good one. I, I'd, I'd blow Sarah Palin out. Back in her heyday, fuck yeah. <laughs> If AOC wasn't such a fucking moron. <laughs> oh, my God. See, I'm going to show you my damn, show me them titties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say fucked up shit. I just said the thing. Yep. I'm allowed. Yeah, you're good. All, right. good. All inhibitions out the window right now. You're good. <laughs> Ready? Let's go, Shaner. Pull the internet. Would you switch your penis size with your foot size? <laughs> I have way smaller feet than I do now. I got these fucking weird ten and a half fucking cinder blocks. Fucking foot. I wear a size ten and a half, and they are just fucking cinder blocks. And here I am. I fucking took 
That'd be fucked up feet. I'd like to have a fucking uh, a ten and a size ten and a half foot center block deck, <laughs> but I don't know if I could put my penis down there on my feet. I would have terrible balance. What do, what happens? I don't know. I'd get way more. <laughs> You'd wear kid shoes. <laughs> They are way cheaper than adult shoes. <laughs> they are. They I are. probably get some fly kicks for like forty five bucks. Yeah, like new new Jordan drops. Like you'll be able to get sixty five dollars. Yep. yep. Well, you're a sneakerhead. It's, it's not worth a bad your, move. Not a bad move. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Bob's like, I would definitely put my size eleven, slender, perfectly shaped foot on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at his feet now. He's like, yeah. No, I'm look running at, over my court. I'm like, okay. Look at these beautiful <laughs> feet. He's like, I'm running over my court. Oh, 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 looking at my feet. Oh, oh, Hannah's phone was sitting uh, in the bathroom. And uh, was sitting in the bathroom. She walked away. I was getting a shower, about to get a shower. And I'm like, mm -hmm, definitely. So I took like six pics of my dick, <laughs> different angles, put it back down. And, like, she came in, got her phone, and then, like, we're sitting next to each other on the couch later that night, and she's like, oh, boy. I'm like, what's up? I completely forgot about oh, the dick hey. I was like, oh. And she's like, she's like, nice dick. I was like, nice. Yeah. Thanks. And then, like, later on, she's like, I can't help it. I haven't taken enough pictures. Every time I, I, I look in my photos, I see your penis. And I'm like, she's like, it's a nice dick. And I'm like. Man, what do you want? Made my weekend. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> what do you butter? I look old, but I have a good dick. Got all these wrinkles, but my dick. She's like, it's just beautiful. Man, good she, for you, man. She's just, she's just making me feel good about myself. Yep. Man, wait till you have your shoe size there. <laughs> I'd be a little scared for her. <laughs> Fucking wide penis. <laughs> <laughs> Flat. <laughs> flat. Wide. What a flat, wide. <laughs> Is that vagina made for double E's? <laughs> God. Oh, man. Funny as fuck. 59% um, said yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'd take the dick size, uh, the, the, the foot size dick, but not the dick size foot. That'd be a little, be like, da, 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 da. How would that even look with jeans? Ah, not good. You'd look footless. Fuck. I love sneakers. Yeah. It'd be tough. Like if you... Yeah. They'd you go wouldn't. over the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> this is very revealing now, Bob. Oh, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny one that's a good one that I was like a it. good one where have these questions been shane i had to put I like we had like two bad weeks of questions we had a few bad weeks of questions Man. let's go all right how long could you last on the run after robbing a bank hmm. <sighs> okay wait are we running on foot or are we in a car like a car chase run either one I combination maybe a helicopter i think i could fully get away Vehicle or on foot? What if you have uh, like vehicle? That? No, 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 no. What happens? If, look, we'll just say this. We'll do this two different ways. What happens? The que what was the question? How long? How long can you last on the run? I think they're saying run. They said run. No, on the I run, think they like, just mean from the moment you leave the bank. Like when are you going to get caught? Yeah. Oh. I think that's what it's yeah, asking. That's what it's asking. There's so many things that go into a bank robbery. So, so you leave the <laughs> bank with the monies. Uh huh. How, How long until you're in jail? Never. What car am I driving? <laughs> not really catching me in my M5. I was just going to say, if Bob's driving his M5 and a full tank of gas, I don't think... Right now? Open roads? Yeah, but you got to stop eventually. Y yeah, but you have to... As long as you get away, you have to have at least a course of action of where you're going to hide and how you're going to go about it. You have to... So rather than think like a good guy right now, you have to think like a bad guy. No, I know. I would not do it any way like they, they do it in the movies, fucking idiots. Well, so they're gonna they're I'd gonna do talk. it like a, like in heat. 
I'd have like st- I have cars staged, ever, like in different areas. So like you leave one, get in another, boom, like yeah. uh-huh. head on a swivel, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you think you could get away? If I can get out of the bank, mm-hmm. you're you're out. You're in the car. Yeah, I think so. Could you formulate a plan mm-hmm. and get on the run and not be caught and know it's you? I'd like to think so, yes. I'd like to think I could, too. I've seen enough I've watched, videotape. I've watched enough videos, video movies, to know. <laughs> I, I think that if you think like a bad guy, if you think if you would go through those extents and get through it, yeah. If I got out of the building and nobody saw my face, and I mean, I'm a pretty distinguishable person. So am I. I don't think, yeah. ah, you're, you're more normal than me. They'd probably be able to tell by the way I fucking run. <laughs> like, look at this. This fucking guy thinks we're not going to know it's Seth. <laughs> Seth. <laughs> look at him run on his toes. <laughs> look at him. That's definitely Seth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they pull up. Quick, pull up the security footage. That's definitely Seth Bruce. Do we got audio to this? Oh, yeah. There's audio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, fucking hell. Fucking uh. <laughs> Got him. He's, he's, he's done. He's done. <laughs> yeah. I'd, uh, but I'd like to think that, I mean, did you guys see the guy with the Hellcat char- uh, Challenger? Mm-mm. <laughs> I, guess they, I guess he was doing, he was in a car chase. I don't know what law he broke. I don't remember, mm-hmm. but he just took off, and like the chopper, there, there was choppers, there was uh, cop cars chasing him. Bro, this dude was doing like a buck fifty, buck sixty, just cruising. Yeah, like the cops were doing like one twenty. The helicopter's like, yeah, we're going like a hundred miles an hour, and the fucking cars. Did he get away? Yeah, nice. no they shit. called it off. Wow, because the dude was just flying, bro. Well, it gets to a point. It's unsafe to even Bro, keep on chasing a flat, someone. On, on, like say that. you're on a flat road like we were in Texas, mm-hmm. like down in fucking Houston yeah. or Dallas or anywhere down there in them open roads, yeah. and you got your M5 and you can push that motherfucker 170, 180 mile an hour. Yeah, no problem. I don't think they're catching you. Mm-mm. No, you ain't catching somebody in an 800 horsepower vehicle. No, especially like if you blow by them. Like if they're if they're stopped and you blow by, bro. Bro. I mean, I would never do such a thing in Western Pennsylvania, but <clears throat> uh, you cruise, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> you cruise. Yeah, I've been going pretty fast. You can go pretty fast. I like to go fast. You see me come out like come out of the light here that one day yeah. last week, bro. Whenever you and Mike were there, I was like, because whenever you left, uh, you were like, "I'm taking the car home." I'm like, all right, here we go. This is gonna be fucking right because I'm right behind you. And then uh, Mike, Mike leaves and he gets in his car. He's got the Hellcat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he gets in, and I'm like, "Oh, Mike's gonna come fucking roaring around." Sure enough, the dude came right around you. <laughs> yeah, breaking all kind of laws. Yeah, I was gonna just do it with a diagram, but not sure if I should. Like <laughs> Bob was fishtailing out, Mike was fucking cruising. It was a little intense oh, there. Man. Nobody's on the fucking road. It no. Did the the back end did come around on me? How Bro, about that? I was like, I was like, Bob's gonna f- fucking peel out of this. I'm like hoping the back end flies out and he can just catch oh. a hold of it. Sure enough, it did. Yep. Well, as soon as Mike got in front of me, I'm like, traction control off. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna need this corner. <laughs> that fucking Hellcat moves, dude. It's opened up now. Yeah, it broke I, uh, I, I didn't have a chance in in the bends. Whenever it, whenever it fucking opened up open roads, that thing cruised uphill. He, <laughs> he fucking hammers that mm-hmm. thing. He's good at driving that car. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, he was. It's a heavy car too. Yeah, it's wide. It's heavy. It's like my feet, my <laughs> dick. It's like my foot, dick. Oh my god! Oh man, yeah. So that whenever I saw that, I was like, "Okay, here we go." So at first, I got that car a little loose. Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing how much control you have of it yeah. sideways. <laughs> it's unreal, huh? Uh-huh. I'm just curious about now. I want to see the Hellcat and the M5. Yep, me too. Yeah, I think it'll be. I did bring it today. I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, last one. Ready? Let's do it. Shoot. All right. Answer the internet. Would you rather have ne- have? Oh my God. Would you rather never have any buffalo sauce food again, 
or only be able to masturbate to pregnant porn? We have this one before. No. I've read this before. You probably read no, it before. No, but this is a fucked up question. How you can go do buffalo sauce like that? <laughs> I know. Why couldn't it have been barbecue sauce? <laughs> yeah. Out of, out of an fucking, easy fuck barbecue yeah, sauce. Fuck barbecue oh, sauce. The spicy barbecue sauce appears fire. I found a new buffalo sauce. It is my favorite fucking sauce right now. That's a fucking bold statement, Bob. It is. I I use it almost every day. What? You use a condiment almost every day? Yes. You use the buffalo sauce condiment every day? Yes. Okay, so you're only masturbating to pregnant I don't know the brand name. I'll I'll find out the brand name for next time, but it's a buffalo ranch like mix. Like in a container? Yeah, it's pre-mixed. It's like a buffalo something ranch. Arizona ranch? By Quaker Quick Steak and Lube? No. No. That no. sauce is fire, though. That sauce is really good, though. This sauce is so good. Like, I was dipping my pizza in it Saturday night. I've been oh, dipping everything in it. bitch. Yeah. You never do that shit. Never. That's got to be fire. So, to your question, I'm not getting rid of buffalo foods. <laughs> I am no way. Listen. I don't, I don't associate pregnant women in porn. Like, that's a fucked up, like, collaboration there. That's a fucking, that's a little, that's a, like, that's a little oh, far. Yeah. Like, that's not my baby in there. <laughs> that's, that's somebody else's baby. Oh, God. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's a weird one. I'm not jerking off to, 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 to that stuff. That's weird. Uh-uh, that's weird. I'm not watching pregnant <laughs> porn. If I'm, if it's So you're like, porn, no more buffalo sauce? So I, 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 I guess no more porn. I won't, no, none. Zero. I'm cool. I don't want buffalo sauce, and I don't want... Pregnant porn's fucking weird. That's weird. I'd watch Korean midget porn <laughs> before I watch pregnant porn. But there's a baby in there. <laughs> That's not my baby. Like, already. Like my beautiful, my beautiful wife, or soon to be, that's my baby. It's my woman. It's my things. That woman over there, with that baby in her, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't know what that does to me. That's like a mm-mm. nope. What about you, Shane? I'm with Seth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not saying anything. I'm not. I'm not gonna admit to anything. <laughs> eh. Nope, I can't do that. No, uh-uh. no. That's that's. I love buffalo sauce too, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I Shane's love like, buffalo oh, sauce. If you, I don't know how you can't. If I cut buffalo sauce out, I have no sauce. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> no sauce. I don't use any I'm sauce. Gonna, You're I'm going to eat the why. buffalo. But you can only watch pregnant porn, right? So you don't have to watch You don't it. have to watch porn, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm good. done. Yeah. Yep. I'm done. Uh-uh. Okay. Fuck. Man, glad we figured that out. Good, I'm really super glad we did too. Yeah. I was intense there for a minute. Yep. Well... Entertaining to say the least. Good times, good shit. Hope mm-hmm. everybody's having a great fucking day. If not, make it better. Send your dick pic to your wife. And if women, if you're listening, maybe send a titty picture to your husband. Wear some sexy lingerie. Send him a pic. Get him all fired up. Teddy sprinkles. Teddy sprinkles. Teddies. Come on. If you don't think titty sprinkles are fun, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Good times. You got to have fun. Show it off. Show it off. Can't look at anyone else's shit. Dip Show your dick in Show sprinkles yours. and send it to your wife. If she's a basic white bitch, she's going to love the sprinkles. <laughs> Bring home chicken fingers and ranch. Dick your dip in, dip your dick in sprinkles. I got chicken fingers, ranch, dick sprinkles. I'm the fucking king. Simple as that. Yep. And as a basic white bitch, I'm telling you all from experience. Dick sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Good times. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to share the fuck out of this podcast. Enjoy your life. All-American Roughneck release Tuesday, April 28th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pump covers, boats and blowies. United we stand. Support your local communities, everybody. I love you. Fucking A. Kick the day right in the dick.